Hello. Hello. Hello and welcome. Welcome to the Monterey Bay Aquarium. We're live. We're live here on Twitch and YouTube. It's it's a new song. <laughs> <laughs> as it is every time as it is every time i'm trying it's yeah. new year new song same us that's right wow. um welcome everyone uh welcome to the monterey aquarium live here on twitch and youtube my name is emily aka monty ray um i am part of the social media team here at the monterey bay aquarium um coming at you live from all of our respective houses uh, across the country now look at us go um but uh, across well acro we've uh, gone national we've got <laughs> we're, we're starting to spread and take over <laughs> um, <no. laughs> um yes uh, hello my name is emily uh this uh, intro is the Hi, worst emily. so far and i love it i'm here for it um hello pat pat is my coworker, my buddy my pal our terrible boy our terrible boy um, from terrible from a state of oh, 800 miles away. I'm I'm giving you a big wave. Hello. Uh, hello. He, hello. We're giving you a big wave too from the coast. We've had a large amount of swell here recently, um, which That's is swell. surprising because you know um, you know it, the swell uh, usually leaves the area when when you're when you're gone, Emily. But uh, the ocean picked up with uh, huge waves going going along the coast here. So uh, yeah, from 800 miles away, waving back. Ain't no swell shine when she's gone. No, sorry. <laughs> Our hearts are swelling with a desire to move on to introducing Rachel. Hey. Introducing Rachel. Also hey. waving 800 miles away. Hello, Rachel. Oh, I'm waving to you, Emily. Hi. Hi. How you doing? I, I'm okay. How are you, Rachel? You know, it's a magical day today. It's sunny outside. I can't complain. And I'm just, I'm loving what you've done with the island. It's been a while. Thank you. Uh, it has been a while since you've been on Monterey Bay. Um, it's all it's all wintry now. There's snow on the ground. Wintry Bay. It's wintry Bay. Um, yeah, there's snow on the ground. There's there's abundant, you know, little festive trees. It's it's been a new year uh, since the last time uh, you you joined us, Rachel. So it's yeah, it's it's a little different. We have a rainbow now. A, a rainbow mola now. What? We do. Rainbow Mola. A Rainbow yes, we Mola. Do. We All do. Right. It's true. Um, oh, whoa. Hold on. Hype hmm? train Hype going on already? over there on Twitch. What? My goodness. Oh Choo-choo all aboard the Hype train, everybody. Thanks for being there, everyone. And That's thank you for all the subs happening over yeah. there on Twitch. That's awesome. <laughs> That's sweet. Hey, hey. And Bing Su Sarang over, Bing Su Sarang, sorry if I'm mispronouncing that, over there on YouTube saying, just want to say, stumbled across your YouTube channel recently. It is so awesome. This is social media done right. Oh boy, do we ever have an opportunity oh. to disappoint you. No. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see if you not. still have the same sentiment by the end. No, thank you for, thank you for the, That's really kind. For the thank kind you. words. That's very, we very can kind. definitely mess it up from here though. I mean, it's it's a Wednesday, so we'll see. We'll see how things go. Um, uh, yeah, Rachel, we'll have to do a, a, a quick little show and tell with the, the Rainbow Mola for you there. It's but um, main goal of today um, is that... Uh, we're gonna do the fishing tournament. Uh, we have we have stopped time. If if I could turn back time, which I, which I can, here on Monterey Bay, uh, we turn back time to what? Saturday, <laughs> when uh, when the fishing tournament was happening on uh, in Animal Crossing, and so we're gonna we're gonna participate in that. We're gonna do a little fishing. We're gonna talk about some ocean animals. We're gonna maybe, maybe talk about some other animals, and we're just gonna have fun. Oh, we better not. <laughs> Ocean that, animals. Is that a threat, only. Pat? Oh, <laughs> you, you watch. You try talking about a butterfly or some kind of snail that's not in the ocean, and oh, oh man. just get ready because I can. Oh. Oh. oh, that reminds me that I forgot. Oh, uh, ooh, oh. you know it's a uh, good luck already. When my controller has uh, fallen asleep within the first That's couple as, minutes. That's as it goes. Monterey Bay Aquarium games by that sitting is, in the same spot yeah. and our controllers go to sleep. <laughs> classic. Classic, yes. Uh, classic Monty Ray over here. 
Um, I forgot. Here, uh, come here, my my Franz. Uh, I oh. have. I'm coming along. Sorry, I was tweeting. I was answering some uh, some messages. What is this? Um, no, don't pick that one up, Pat. You've already gotten that one. Drop that one. Drop it. Uh, drop, uh, it. <laughs> drop it. Drop it. Drop what, it. What's that? But you get a different one. I'll drop it. You get one of the gold sorry. ones, and then Rachel gets a Rachel gold here. one, and um, hey. and a black and red Rachel one. here, sorry. There you go. Sorry, I didn't mean to. There you go. Do it's I pick so this awkward. one up? Yes, you it's can pick awkward. that one up, Pat. That like, one's that one's for you. I love it. Um, I guess okay, I can I open I it? Can I open things. it? Should yes. I open it? Yes. Please <gasps> what is it? What is it? Presents. 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 Oh, I dropped it instead. <laughs> <laughs> because oh. I'm good at this game. Yes. You gave me a snow person head. Dun dun dun. <gasps> snow person. Oh, oh yeah. And you get a little oh. hat. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Yay. Yay. 2021. So far. Feels about the same as 2020. Same. Hey, yeah. about, about the same. Still haven't had a hug this year, and you know what? It's all good. <laughs> I'm used to it now. It's okay. I'm saving lives. Socially it's distanced. True. Staying yeah, well, in my here, house. Well, here, Pat, I can uh, oh. just yep. stop, st stay there for, for just a second. Oh, my goodness. Um, the hype train is going. That's just this amazing. Out of control. It is amazing. out of control over there. Oh, they're crazy over there. Oh, I, cr I pressed the wrong button. It's this one. It's choo choo. Uh, I know you, you haven't gotten any any hugs lately, but it has I just wanted to you know just do that real quick. Can can do it again. Just keep going. What 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 are we talking about? Sorry, I was reading chat. I was looking at stuff. Uh -huh. What what were you saying? I'm just, are you just in the game. Ew, it's so gross. I hate that animation so much. What I is hate that? it so much. Are you like She's smelling, smelling me? Uh, that right? Isn't that weird? <laughs> listen, listen. I know that you're not. I know that you're not a new to Brank. I know that you don't have rhinophores, the nose bearing ears there, and uh, I also know that you're not a shark with most of your brain devoted to smell, Emily. So I just got to say. The, the the role playing as one of those smell based animals is great, but uh, incredibly disconcerting. <laughs> Deb, I, so, I know that it's supposed to be for the flowers, but really, oh if they're goodness. gonna give me that animation, I'm just gonna run around oh. and smell everything. I'm gonna smell the ocean over here. The ocean smells <laughs> delightful. Hey, Emily, do you wanna do you wanna let the folks know uh, what gives the ocean its smell? Um, it, do we want to talk about that? I know that you we can get talk very about excited bit. about that. That is a that is a pat favorite topic. Ooh, so I don't want to steal ooh, it from you. Ooh, do it. Here, I'm just, ooh, I'm just gonna scoot. Ooh. Okay. Uh, so the reason that the ocean smells the way that it does is it, it's it's rather complicated. But the, one of the main reasons that the ocean has that ocean smell is that you've got a whole bunch of uh, bacteria and algae that are living in the water, and as they are. Uh, living and breathing and dying and doing all of the stuff that they do they're emitting a lot of different um smelly substances from the water and in particular um they are uh releasing um uh oh what 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 is it what what is the term dime dimethyl sulfide what is it it's um it's a sulfur compound with a whole bunch of uh <laughs> hydrogen <laughs> hydrogens on there as well. Um, dimethyl sulfide, I think is what I'm trying to say. Um, anyway, that molecule that is being released is caused by a lot of different types of uh, marine microorganisms and that ocean smell can actually be used by a lot of different animals that are very keen on their sense of smell, uh, like albatrosses and tube noses, other uh, seabirds out there on the wing that are flying around and they're actually smelling their way to the plankton patches by smelling that ocean smell and it becomes a little bit stronger when there is a, a lot of agitation, a lot of activity, a lot of different food uh, items around. And in particular, one thing that scientists have found is that when you have a lot of plastic around the plankton and other microorganisms kind of glom on and grow around that plasticky area, which then makes it smell a little bit more, which then attracts more animals over to that area and they start feeding in the plasticky zone. And so they're at a higher risk of ingesting that plastic. So that's one of the things about albatrosses is that they're using that dimethyl sulfide to smell their way around to try to find where the plankton is at. And that also seems to be where the 
Uh, plastic is that because the agitation of the plastic and then all of the conglomeration of all the different animals there, just that shaking up of the ocean releases these compounds into the air. And I believe similar compounds are made by uh, a type of plankton known as coccolithophores, which are the ones that give you gym chalk or the white cliffs of Dover, um, or I, they might be pronounced coccolithophores, depending on where you are. But um, coccolithophores are uh, a type of... Um, uh, single-celled alg alga that have the amazing chalky um, uh, little shields on them and uh, that dimethyl sulfide that they produce is thought to help seed cloud formation which then helps uh, uh, cool down uh, the planet apparently there have been massive uh, coccolithophore blooms back in the day that people could uh, track the change of the climate due to them uh, so anyway that's the ocean smell so uh, here uh, on three Emily go ahead and do that <laughs> Oh, that little okay. animation and and uh, sorry pat i was reading the oh, chat before oh, so i didn't oh, get to oh, confirm oh, for you I, I, I know that you were looking for um did i make for, did for i make us. a wrong no did no I you made it that? right it is dimethyl sulfide yes. I, I just wanted to to yes, yes. so Got it. um Got it. okay and as we know, all say know. when we're by the ocean and we see that dimethyl sulfide go ahead and smells like plank Teen spirit. Oh, that was terrible. That was, that was terrible. That was, that, was, that, was, that was the worst pun I've ever attempted. I'm going to run away and change. <laughs> that was terrible. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so um, <laughs> that's a little bit about the smell emote. We can bring it back to something less creepy and weird. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if um, you insist. Um, we did it. So nice. do we want to, here, let's go visit the rain, Rainbow Mola real quick so that Rachel can see that. And then we'll go get our, our fishing tournament on. Let's do it. Please. Oh, what the what the Lumps is asking <laughs> over there on uh, Twitch, who um, uh, who at Monterey Bay Aquarium manages these live streams? Well, Emily <laughs> is the one currently. <laughs> yep. Emily is running all of the tech currently on her system. Um, and, uh, then when you see live streams with, uh, the Ambari scientists or with our, uh, our aquarists over at the aquarium where we're doing those interviews, uh, that's my, uh, system that is doing that typically. So yeah, you're listening to them right now. <laughs> if you it's have us. any <laughs> negative feedback, we have other emails to send you, but if you have positive, things, leave them in the chat. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh, this is a beautiful rainbow mola, Emily. Are you sitting on its eyeball? I am sitting on its eyeball. <laughs> and I, I left uh, the tree over here because it kind of looked like a jelly, like from the top. It's, but It's an almond on a jelly. Yeah, it's an almond on a jelly over there. Apparently, I forgot to get a fossil over there. I'll get it later. Um, there are two fossils over there. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I'm slapping oh, off. Boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, this cat. Ah, let me out. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, my polite conversation <laughs> trapped you. <laughs> By the rainbow mola. I don't see. If you if you talk to the cat again, is that an encore? <laughs> <laughs> that was yeah. encoreable, Pat. <laughs> hey, yes it is. Dude, we don't want to encourage this. <laughs> Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh well. Um, okay, first question. Does everybody Fav have. <laughs> what? Your, bo sorry, your boy Splendence is asking, what's your favorite ocean smell? Can be fish, a byproduct, a question, especially. Okay, well, I mean, it, there's always like melabies. Uh huh. They that's what I was going to say. Yeah. That's what I was going to say. What do they smell like, Emily? They smell like watermelon jelly ranchers. They do. And what's a melody? <laughs> a melody, yes. Uh, a melody is a kind of nudibranch. It's a lion's mane nudibranch, if, if you so please to call, it, to call it that, if it pleases you. Uh, lion's mane nudibranch, a.k.a. melody's um, melody, le, 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 I always pronounce it incorrectly, le, leonina, le, le, leonina. 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 Mm -hmm. Melody leonina. Um, yep. They are these incredible... Uh, sea slugs that look like they are well part sea slug, part stegosaurus, part Venus flytrap. 
um, and they are yep. just the coolest, and they secrete a chemical that is unpleasant to other animals that might predate upon them, um, but to us humans here, uh, it smells like watermelon Jolly Ranchers, <laughs> which is just real nice. It's <laughs> so cool. And actually, um, one time in the bay, there were so many melody on some kelp off of Del Monte Beach, and it was super windy. That if you were standing on the shore, you had that citrusy sweet whiff mm. coming on shore. And people were just like, "Is there candy? What is cotton candy around?" And I was like, "It's sea slugs," and they were like, "Okay," and they left. And then I was by myself enjoying the smell. I can just imagine you standing there. It's sea slugs. No, I'm just like walking down the beach. I'm just like, "It's the sea slugs. I can smell the sea slugs. The sea slugs are on the wind. I can smell them." And people are like, like, "Okay, right. backing up slowly All right. now." Okay. <laughs> Uh, um, Fiori wants to know how do we feel about ocean scented candles and dryer sheets? Terrible. Uh, they're terrible. Oh. They're so oh. bad. They don't, they don't do smell they like smell the like? ocean at all. Wait, but what do they smell like? I'm trying to think of the last time I smelled one. They just smell it's like, like salt, artificial. Like salt and, and soap to me. Yeah, they, yeah. they smell like a detergent. That's just yeah. not good. Yeah. yeah. You can't you can't replicate that ocean smell. Yeah, they definitely put the deter in detergent. You know what I'm saying? That's good. One. Hey, thank you. <laughs> I literally <laughs> just took the first half of the word. <laughs> you didn't. Leave, uh, over leave on us YouTube, out by long. the way, Emily. Yeah, you uh, go ahead. Uh, over on YouTube, Emily, there is a ton of love for how good the island looks. So kudos again. Oh, hey, Great thanks. job. Great job. It's gotten a little, a little chaotic. I, I haven't put a lot of time into it in the last couple of weeks, um, but it's going okay. A uh, huge shout out to our coworker and friend Susan, who helped me gather a lot of <laughs> materials to make it look uh, like a winter wonderland for Pat's surprise a couple of weeks ago. Um, so, yay, Susan! So, thank you. Thank you. Uh, oh, I'm just reading. Oh, I'm reading a chat here. Yes. Um, Oh, this is a question uh, about Ray the penguin. Um, so paraphrasing, but basically Ray was a part of the uh, species survival plan. She was born and she had the cataracts. Uh, does that mean that uh, her parents will not be a part of the breeding uh, program going forward? Emily, do you know? I don't know. Uh, about uh, Ray, Ray probably won't become um, part of the breeding program for yes. the species survival plan, but she does have a partner now, which is very she exciting. does. Yes, yes, she's dating. Um, and then her her parents. Uh, that's a good question. I don't know who's in charge oh. of that at the moment. Um. Oh. Oh, give me a second. I think we lost Rachel. <gasps> Did we lose Rachel? We lo we lost Rachel on Discord. Rachel. Rachel, no! Uh, no. Oh. 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 She still she still exists in the game. She's still in the game, so we haven't lost still, internet. She's still running around in the game. Rachel, 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 we can't hear you. Rachel, we can't hear you. Rachel. I will just stand here in distress. Can we text her uh, in real <laughs> you, life you or in the game? You can message her um, while I tap dance and see if oh. I can figure out nope i don't oh that. she just sent us a slack saying discord died on her okay oh no oh no discord why but okay um hey tiger ride ever since discovering the youtube through krill waves radio been hooked <laughs> Ah. Hey. Well, you know, if you've been watching the the gaming streams, you know that the the bass has dropped numerous times on stream here. So it's all about <laughs> all about the muse. All about that bass. No trouble. Oh, oh she's hey, back. back. She's back. My internet died. Yay! Now I'm back. <laughs> all is Yay. well. All, all is, is well. Whale. All is swell. All is whale. All is, all is swell. Whale. All is, all That's is a double. Swimming. Yeah. 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 Uh, um, Emily, you still seem distressed. No, I'm. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Not in real life. Okay, thank goodness. Ooh, <laughs> <my goodness. laughs> so Yay! Concerned. Excited. Oh my yeah. goodness. Back. Oh. Okay. I was just, I was Actually, going on a dive to see if I could find um, the document that I used to have that told me who Ray's parents were, but apparently it's not on this computer. <laughs> <laughs> 
ton of different ones. So um, I don't have that information right now. I'm sorry. Yeah, I apologize. I well, because she was one of the chicks that um, uh, needed a bit of assistance with her incubation and her hatching and everything. So um, she was partially raised by penguin parents, partially raised by humans. But I am completely blanking on who her penguin parents were. Hmm. Anyway. Did we lose Pat now? No, I'm just typing. Okay. No, I'm like oh. marveling at Patrick's uh, beautiful fishing rod here. Look at that pink ducky. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> I think that was, wasn't that the one that I gave to you, Pat? I can't remember. I've got some backup. I've got some backup uh, fishing rods in my oh, pockets excellent. right now, just in case. Uh, Rachel, do you have fish bait in your pockets? I have no fish bait. Follow me for fish bait. Okay, we need to build a snow boy. I need to know what this is. <laughs> And we need to break into song as we do it. <laughs> Emily, do you want to build a snow boy? <laughs> Ta-da! Lovely. I would Thank you! Picking up one or two for now so that you have lots of room in your pockets. No, oh, I picked them I all that, up. <laughs> I, know that pocket, I know that pocket space is, a, is, a, is limited for you. So it is limited. I want to limited. make sure that you have... Yeah, sure. Oop. All right. Um, okay. Let's check out. Let's check out chat here. All right. Yep. Um, look like how happy I. I have a secret. I, I do have a golden fishing rod. Shh, don't tell them. I don't That's have it awesome. in my pockets right now. It's it's in my it's in my inventory. Uh. <laughs> But I do have I have a secret golden fishing rod, um, but I don't I don't have all of the fish. I got it because um, friend of the stream uh, and coworker donated it to the <laughs> to the cause. <laughs> Where did you all go? Oh, we went down here, but we have to go back there so that we can I'm start the fishing tourney. Actually, you guys could stay on the beach, and I can start to finish the fishing tournament. Yeah, we so. You Patrick, you've participated in the fishing tournament, yes? I have not, <gasps> You have not? Okay, and Rachel hasn't either. Okay. Nope. Noobs. So here's what's going to happen. I'm going to talk to our friend CJ right here, and mm -hmm. CJ is going to start a timer, and when that timer starts, we fish and catch as many fish as we can. doesn't matter what kind of fish, just as many fish as you can in that amount of time, and then we get points. And then we can use those points to get uh, fish-themed swag and gear from him. Um, so, so that's what we're gonna do. Awesome. Right. Sorry, one sec. Okay. Yeah, no worries. <laughs> um, Fiore, good news uh, on the on the duck front because <laughs> because wait for it. Wait for it. I have to go through all these recipes. Wait for it. Oh, where'd it go? Where'd it go? There it is. No. Oh, too far. Look who got herself a duck recipe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got yeah. ducks. I get ducks. I got to make all the ducks all over the <laughs> island. I'm so excited. Um, oh, my It was goodness. a beautiful moment. It was a beautiful moment. Uh, I got it in my mailbox, and at first I thought that someone just sent me a duck, and I was just like, oh, yeah, another duck. And then I was just like, oh, wait. <laughs> all the ducks. I could make all of the ducks. <laughs> yes, see, you know, Sarah, all the ducks. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that's the good news and bad news because. <laughs> <laughs> it's, I mean, it's already a challenge to like walk on this side of the island because of uh, the amount of, of ducks over here. Uh, but soon this is just going to be a field, a field filled with ducks. And I am very excited about that. Um, all right. S sorry, scrolling back through because I know that I missed a couple of questions here in chat. Um, uh, 
Ooh, what the lumps? Thank you for those tips for building snow boys. Um, oh boy, pardon my voice there. Um, I always have the worst time making snow boys. It's always like so close, but never. I've gotten a couple of perfect snow boys, but they're, they're I've been a made one. I'm um, very excited about this. <laughs> <clears throat> Ooh, Wilderness Gay, would we do a Krill Waves radio where we put a camera on an animal and we can see the exhibit from their eyes? Uh, we probably wouldn't get the clearance to put a, a camera on an animal, um, but we might be able to do maybe like an underwater one where we could put a camera inside of an exhibit for a period of time and, and do a Krill Waves that way. We have done that. Yeah, we have we, done that. Yeah, we did it in the Monterey Bay habitat. Sorry, I'm oh, that's back. That's right. I forgot about the shark one. We did the lazy That's sharks right. one. Yeah, it wasn't it, for whatever reason. Lazy sharks didn't do as well as uh, as the other ones, but, probably because it's only one hour long instead of two um, hours long. But. That's true. But did you see someone uh, the other day sent us a comment saying the shark one was their favorite one? So. Oh, I didn't see that. Well, that's awesome. Shout out to that person. <laughs> Shout out to that person who thought it was the best. <laughs> um, <laughs> And then uh, let's see here. Storm Sarah wondering what classes do we need to take in high school to get the jobs that we have now? Rachel, do you want to talk about how you got the job that you have now? Oh my gosh, what a winding path. But uh, gosh, high school, many, many moons ago. <laughs> Jeez, I was interested in biology. I think that's how I got here interested in biology. I took all the honors and AP bio classes, but I was also really interested in writing. Uh, went to college, went to UC Davis, got a Bachelor of Science in Evolution Ecology and Biodiversity. Uh, and then the winding road continued uh, after I worked at a marine lab. After that term position ended, I was like, what do I do with my life? <laughs> I'll go and teach uh, marine science. I like talking to, I hate talking, or at least I used to hate talking to people. I was afraid I would shake and cry when I would have to speak to people, even in college. But I was like, eh, I still want to do marine science, so I guess I'll do a job where I talk to people. <laughs> and then uh, it worked out and I got really good at talking to people. And then I ended up at the aquarium in guest experience where I met you and Patrick and Magic. It was awesome times talking to the public, doing tours, and working with volunteers. And then I started this role just last May uh, because I love scientific interpretation and this was uh, an expanded audience now. I get to speak to the internet. So Yay. That, is, that is the winding road. <laughs> Yay. Yeah, but That's not weird. everyone at the aquarium uh, is into science. So, it, I mean, knows... Uh, biology. So it's interesting how so many people come to the aquarium through different avenues. Yeah, that's, that's very, very true. So, um, you know, for us, when we were in high school, um, we all went to different high schools in different states that offer, or even different countries <laughs> that offer different, different things. And so um, I think it really... Um, it depends on what you want to do after high school um, that will help you land a, a job like this that you might like to do in the future. Um, and a lot of that comes from classes that you might take in college that might relate to your degree, that might not relate to your degree. Um, and then uh, what you do in your spare time. Um, you know, for example, none of us have degrees in um, any kind of multimedia productions or PR or marketing or <laughs> communications <laughs> or anything like that. Um, but these are things that we do. <laughs> you know, all, all of us really enjoy playing video games um, and have been fans of, of games our entire lives. Um, you know, we, we too participate in watching live streams on twitch and, and youtube and um you know for for uh pat he has learned how to be a videographer and a photographer i've you know figured out and bumbled my way through uh becoming a photographer as well uh rachel here is one of the most eloquent and beautiful writers i have ever had the pleasure of of uh <laughs> reading the stuff that the, the posts and stuff that you write for us 
um, <laughs> and is an incredible interpreter. Um, so like these are all things that you know, you know, you know. Rachel games in her spare time. I game in my spare time. Pat now games in his spare time. That we do. Well, I play. I play specific. <laughs> I play specific <laughs> games. A game. I play specific <laughs> game. I play one game until I get sick of it. And uh, you are looking at currently everybody. I mean, I don't want to brag or anybody, but you're looking at a level forty Fall Guys Dapper Walrus uh, <laughs> owner right here. I made um, a monster. <laughs> uh, Emily bought me Fall Guys. Emily bought me Fall Guys for uh, for Christmas, and uh, I uh, I've 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 won. Uh, not a crown yet. I've I've uh, fallen short. I've wound up second numerous times. But uh, yeah, you're looking at a level 40 Fall Fall Bro. So uh, yeah, there you go. But <laughs> again, true. if this was Tony Hawk, I'd be crushing right now. It's. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, can we play Tony Hawk Pro Skater? It has the word hawk in it, and there are hawks that live by the ocean. I feel like oh there are. Yeah, it could be Tony Osprey, oh <laughs> uh, Tony Osprey Ocean Skater, but uh, Tony Seahawk. <laughs> Tony Seahawk. No, uh, I think we talked about fall. We could do a Fall Guys stream because we have the walrus and penguin and duck and owl costumes, so we could do that. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> that definitely work. Uh. Um. Do I have the deep diver outfit? No, I do not yet. No, no. I have a lot of crowns saved up there. I'm ready. Yep. Um, uh, but yeah. Um, <laughs> um, have we played some see. Nautica? Uh, Kyra 099. We haven't yet, but we own it now. But we did do Subnautica with Games Done Quick. And we did do Subnautica with Games Done Quick. Um, so if you want to check out that VOD, it's on their YouTube. Um, if you uh, search on their YouTube page for Ocean Week, you can see all the streams that we did with them. Um, we're much more professional gamers played the games, but then we got to talk. Um, it's the best of both worlds for, for you. Um, but, uh, but we do own some Nautica now. We also own Beyond Blue now. And so um, That's right. we are going to try and figure out the setup for that and possibly do a stream with one of those uh maybe on friday maybe next week we're gonna see how things go Woo. that's awesome okay i think i'm back i think I, i'm done are you, are you back okay yes we're we're okay. good uh yeah. So what are we doing? Are we doing? Are we doing the fishing <laughs> tourney? We're going to do the fishing <laughs> tourney. Um, so here, Let's I will go. start it. it. So I'll start it. You, you two, find a spot along the coast um, that you're gonna you're gonna fish at. Pick one that has a, f a pro tips. Uh, pick one that there's already fish spawned there right in front of you. <laughs> Cause yeah, I got then, it. And then um, and then we're gonna we're gonna do a little fishing tourney here. All right. So how? Okay. So don't, I'm just going to catch, catch fish it. and you'll remind me how it works again. <laughs> don't get, don't, don't catch it yet because okay. it won't okay. count. That won't okay. count. And yes, Otter502, we're reading both chats. I appreciate the puns happening over there in the yes. chat. Yes. On the, <laughs> on the 502 there. All right. Let's see here. Oh, I forgot how long CJ talks for. Um, sign me up. I'm ready. Okay, there's going to be three minutes on the clock. Oh, man. Everyone's going to start at the same time. Okay. And there's a bonus if you catch more than three fish. Ready? Go. All right. Fishing. Fishing. I was not prepared. Oh, gosh. Come to me. Okay. Do I have to... Oh, it yeah. disappears. It disappears right away. Okay. Yep. No, I'm looking at the ocean. Let me scatter food. I'm losing time. <laughs> <laughs> I got one. Throw some food, throw some I food where there's a girl. fish. I am. Yay. You're just telling me it's not going on. <laughs> oh my gosh! It pooped. It, my fish exploded. Wait, guys. what? <laughs> it explodes. How did it explode? Like you pick it up and then it just evaporates. Oh, it's kind of scary. Okay, okay, okay. I thought that you meant <laughs> like that it actually, like, it actually like pooped. <laughs> 
<laughs> a sea butterfly is not a fish, Animal I've Crossing, a, but I'll count it because it gave me a plus one. <laughs> no, stuff like that is winning. I am not. Come on, come on. I'm so focused. Ah. Oh no, um, I blew it. Okay. <laughs> I got this. I got. Oh I'm, no! I I'm doing terribly. I I got so, one. I believe in I've you too. One. I believe in you too. Okay. I've spawned. You got uh, this. It. Oh no! Oh, I messed up. Oh, oh no! I messed up again. Oh, why am I so bad at this? That's right. Pat surges into the lead. <laughs> yeah. Complete confidence, just absolute. Okay. Why did the fish go away? Why did it swim away? I didn't do anything. No, come back! Oh my gosh! I'm falling behind. Okay, okay, okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. There we go. There we go. Sea okay. butterflies are not fish. Sea butterflies are not fish, but it's okay. Why do you, plus why one. Do you, keep, plus one. Why do you keep catching pteropods? I'm not because I'm your terrible boy. <laughs> oh no, why did you move fish? No. That's not the right. spot the lure, that I dropped the, the, the fish bait bite in. Bite the lure, bite the lure, bite the lure. Uh, not uh, now, penguin. We're in attorney. Going. I've got We're 50 going. seconds left. <laughs> I caught a dab, that's what's up. Come fish, come to Valour. I scattered food and no fish showed up. Just give it a second, give it a second, because there's a lot of stuff happening on the island right now. Oh yeah? Yeah. Like me winning this tournament. Come on, 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 come on. We'll see you about that. It's a C bass, more like a C plus. Yeah, okay, I got it. Oh, Emmy is playing. Let's let's invite Oh, hey, Emily. Emily, you want to come play? Come play. Oh, can I catch a fish in 16 seconds? Come on. Let's go. Yes, you... Let's go. Let's go. Yes. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. No, I'm not going to get it because it didn't bite. It didn't bite. It didn't bite. Bite. It bite. It didn't bite. Bite. I got it. I got it. I got it. Go, 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 been yeah. Earlier. yeah. That was fun. That was very satisfying. <laughs> okay, so now both of you come uh, back to the plaza where CJ is so that he can take your fish away. And then he'll give you uh, money. Where, am I, where am I going? You're going to the plaza. To the middle. To the middle. Fish away. <laughs> 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 So hyped. Look at him go. Work it. Work it. Yeah. Piscean. More Piscean. All right. So you have to give him your fish and you have to empty your cooler. Okay. So you have what? to talk to him twice as soon as I'm, I'm done here. Okay. Okay. Whee. That's awesome. Uh, just check in the chat. Lady B. Holmes, uh, thank you for the kind words about the Crow Waves meditations and the game streams. Any plans for new content types in the upcoming year? Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, definitely looking forward to uh, some fun stuff. But uh, a lot of that's going to be contingent on us being able to be together again. Um, so, yeah, looking forward. Looking forward to that. We're especially looking forward to being able to work on stuff related to the Into the Deep exhibit that will be coming out. Uh, um, in 2022, I believe. So, uh, yeah, look out for more stuff. We're trying. Um, <laughs> when and Emily's been working on some cool stuff recently yeah. that's not quite ready to launch, or is it ready to launch? Well, Do you um, want to tease it, Emily? Yeah, we'll probably launch it next week. Um, I mean, we technically have already launched it, oh, okay. but not what we have. But I'll, I'll do a little preview. So. Um, last year we launched our Spotify channel. Um, so if you go to your Spotify and then switch Monterey Bay Aquarium um, under users, you should find us. We have our big, our big beautiful logo there. That's us. Um, last year, a couple of teams uh, around the aquarium put together playlists of songs they listen to while they're working. Um, so we have some of those up right now, as well as um, a lot of folks are curious about um, the music that plays in our exhibit halls and over some of our um, our live cams, our animal cams that we have. Um, so all that music 
is also on our Spotify channel. Um, but what I've been working on, um, we've got, uh, that's going to be coming out probably next week, probably asterisk, uh, next that's week, right. <laughs> um, is going to be a playlist with all of the Krill Waves songs that Pat has used in our Krill Waves radio uh, videos. So we have, it's like eight hours and 22 minutes long. Uh, That's a lot. Music in there. <laughs> um, so I put that together. Um, so we'll have a playlist with all the Krill Waves radio music in it, as well as playlists that um, have been curated specifically for each one of our live animal cams. Um, so some of our animal cams don't have music that play along with them. Um, so instead, uh, we decided to make some playlists that just kind of match the vibe, the mood of those exhibits. And then we were building those and we were like, oh, we might as well just build playlists for all of the animal cams. So because uh, there's usually just one song from the exhibit hall that's on a loop in the background for all of those animal cams. Um, so instead, uh, there are going to be a series of uh, eight new playlists on there, one for each of our animal cams. Um, with music to match that vibe. Um, or you can mix and match. Maybe you want to play the Bay Cam playlist, uh, you know, uh, against the Sea Otter Cam. Um, you know, you, you can, you do you. you. You do what makes your heart happy. Um, <laughs> that's that's the rule uh, with all of our content. So, um, so yeah, so you can check those out. Um, we also have a playlist uh, that just has songs that are vaguely related to the ocean in it. Our favorite tunas. <laughs> um, so that's a playlist that'll also be coming out. So anyway, Spotify. Uh, we'll, we'll let you know when it, when it happens and when those things are out. Or if you follow us on Spotify right now, Spotify will tell you when we publish those next week. Anyway. Yeah, that's Yay. awesome. Yay. Um, oh, would you do recordings of what the exhibits sound like underwater, the hydrophone in the bay? Yeah, we've done, uh, we've done some live streams, actually. If you go check out our YouTube channel there, uh, Wilderness Gay, check out our YouTube channel and you'll see some of the hydrophone uh, live streams that we did those were pretty incredible that was right around the election time um and the humpback whales were doing a great job um there is the ambari soundscape listening room uh that you yep. can take a look at and listen to it all the time uh when we were streaming it i put on some noise uh some noise cleanup software so that it actually was not super staticky the um the stream coming directly from Mbari is pretty staticky because it's got all of the sound information in there, I believe, or they it, they just keep it kind of uncompressed so that people can can grab it and then analyze it later. So um, it's good to run it through a couple of noise um, noise filters there on OBS or something that'll help clean it up and make it more enjoyable for blasting in the in the living room. Definitely did that when uh, when it was um, just the height of the whale singing. That was so awesome. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, is that it for the fish tourney? Or can we do it again? We can do it again. We can do it as many times as we want, and then we can continue. Okay. I saw. Flag. I I saw a suggestion from one of the mods, Emily. I don't yes. know how to do this. Hmm? Um, but someone was saying that we need to do a poll as to who will get a fishing pole, as it were, <laughs> um, as to who is going to win. <laughs> as so to who's going can. to win? Um, hold yeah. on, if I can. See if I can remember how to do that. Um, hold on. Let's see here. Is it? No, nope, that's not it. That's not it. Uh, oh, most oh, evil olive. Thank you for the kind words over there in the chat. Monterey Bay Aquarium was my favorite place as a child. I love the cans. Reminds me of home. No. Oh. <laughs> when I was. When I was five years old, I saw the sea otters at the aquarium and wanted to be a marine biologist and work there. So definitely feel you on the feels like home side. And uh, that actually goes into a question that Claire Keys had a little bit earlier there in the chat. Is there anything a person with a psychology degree could do? Branch into the marine studies, fish and ecology is my true passion. Work with them. Yes, psychology is actually a huge thing you could apply to not only animals, but also people. Clearly, there's a lot of psychology going around um, how to message climate change. Uh, stuff and um you know just message around the different issues that are facing the ocean uh but one of the coolest applications of a psychology degree that i've heard about is uh, our good friend hannah um van weiss back in the day she had a, a behavioral psychology degree 
which was really helpful in the training of the sea otters. Um, so behavioral psychology is a really great thing um, for a lot of different animal training, which is super important for animal care in different zoos and aquariums. So look into um, look into that behavioral psychology for animal training. It's really uh, really good stuff for the otters, the penguins, turtles, uh, mola. So many animals at the aquarium are trained for their health and comfort at the aquarium. Sweet. Sorry, Emily. I was I was vamping there no, in the middle. You're, you're doing great. Um, okay. Oh wait, I think that Deb is setting up the poll for it. Thank you, oh, Deb. Thank Deb you. <laughs> or so let's see. I don't know who is poll. Okay, Deb set it up. Poll is live. Poll well, is live. live over there. Okay. Sorry. I'm gonna post. I'm gonna post to Instagram that we're streaming. I forgot to do that. And then once we do that, we can. Look at us go. <laughs> Or we are professionals, as always. Professionals. Well, I let Twitter know, and then I was just like, job done. Oh, wait, no. <laughs> <laughs> if we're only 50 minutes into the stream, so... It's all it's good. It's fun. all good. It's time. It's time. It's yeah, the true fans will have subscribed anyway. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Um, uh, I'm actually... I'm, I'm very proud. We have 180 viewers. We do. Over there what? on Twitch right now with nice. us. And then, uh, let's see here. We got 72 more people over on YouTube. Y'all, this is uh, this is a good Wednesday. We're crushing Excellent. it. Good, good metrics, everybody. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for those good <laughs> metrics. <laughs> um, uh, all right, let's go to the chat again. Oh, I see the poll right there. Ooh, Rachel, you are in the lead. Oh okay. my! Oh my! Um, uh, someone before, and I please forgive me because it went by, and I am blanking on the name, and so I'm gonna desperately scroll back to see if I can find it. But someone was asking, uh, "Is my use of fish bait against the rules to, to win?" Everybody has fish bait, um, so all of us have we fish bait. We all have our, fish bait. We all have the bait. Yep, we all have fish the bait. bait. Ooh, ha, ha. <laughs> <laughs> um, Shark bait. Speaking of, Rachel, do you have enough fish bait in your pocket for this next round? I, I think I'm good. Okay. Yes. I'm going to check my pocket. I should have enough. Yeah. We good. We good. We'll check on Pat here, too. Uh, yeah, give me a second here. <laughs> oh, boy. Rachel, you are you are the popular opinion here. 41% yeah, of the people... That. No pressure. Oh, yeah. no pressure. No pressure. Well, a little bit no of pressure, pressure because it is the ocean. Um, yeah. yeah. Uh, we are deep sea fishing. Yeah. Under pressure. <laughs> uh, no, we can't do <laughs> get demonetized here. No, uh, we can't sing. Huh. Oh no. Well, um, they shouldn't demonetize us because there's. Uh, we're talking about the in DMCA. There's a C, so it should be. DMCA. Yeah, that's right. DMCA. So we're good. <laughs> Um, okay, our Instagram fronds no. Instagram fronds no. Excellent. Instagram fronds no. Where's this poll? Where's this poll that I can see? It's it's on it's on the Twitch. It ended, but Rachel Rachel is the predicted winner with forty one percent of the vote. Okay, that's fine. Uh, <laughs> Rachel's wonderful. Rachel's yeah. totally got it. <laughs> Tino's yeah, of course it'll hold Rachel's up. Rachel's totally court. got it. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, okay, so Rachel and Pat, go find a spot along the coastline. No, my spot. My please. spot. No, oh, Rachel's God. taking my spot. Emily, Rachel. <laughs> Children. Emily. Children. <laughs> Rachel. All right. All right, find a spot along the coast. Find a fish. Okay, um, I'll talk on, to CJ. On, on, All right, okay, let me know when you're ready. I found a fish. Okay, we're good. I found a fish. Okay. Found a fish. We are going to have three minutes starting now. Run down here, Emily. I'm running. I'm trying to find a fish. I can't find a fish. I'm just going to go ahead and... This, this, is, my, this is my spot. I'm oh, here. Pat's got a sea butterfly already. You're terrible, boy. Surging into the lead. Oh, uh. no. Oh, no. All right. All right, squid. Squid in the pocket. Squid in the pocket. Squid in the pocket. Scatter. Oh, he's got a mackerel. Two for two. Is there anything that Pat can't catch? Oh, my goodness. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Gotta catch that. Gotta catch that. 
Baby. I believe in you, Rachel. <laughs> Can I donate my fish to Rachel? I already got one. I need this one now. Oh, oh. Getting trigger happy. Alright. Don't scare the fish. Oh, oh, that was way far away. He's got a now. dab! That's right, kids. No, no, he no, knows no, the no. dances. Okay. Okay. Okay, come on. Just a little bit behind <laughs> Pat. This is a little bit behind Pat. It's alright. It's alright. It's alright. It's alright. Catching up. Catching up. Here we go. It's okay. Here I miscast. I miscast. You're able to... It's okay. It's okay. I'm gonna catch up. Uh, yeah. Yeah, this is our chance, Rachel. Okay. Big fish. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Yay! Oh, he's got Don't the fight. bass. It's uh, at least a C plus, no. but he no. is definitely there for the uh, A. I'm not gonna flounder. Plus. I'm only just gonna catch this flounder. This. I'm not I gonna fall this. flat. Uh, come on. Okay. Come to me. All right. Yeah, that's right. All right. It's okay. Clap it. Oh, okay. Pat can do no wrong. He's got a second C bass. That's at least a T plus, and we know that that's a passing grade, and he's surging into the lead. Uh, I don't know. Oh, no. Oh, that was my mistake. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, this is the downfall of Emily. Oh, I had made a comeback, oh, and oh, I'm oh. falling behind again. Oh. I know. I know. Me too. Me too. Okay. okay. It's okay. Happy with the okay. We still Getting have a minute left. We still have a minute left. All right. We oh, and left. Pat's on to his third sea bass in a row! My goodness gracious! And cast. Okay, okay. Fish are cooperating. Okay, fish are coming. This is a squid, oh. but that's okay. <laughs> oh, lucky number seven for Pat. He's got the mackerel! <laughs> He's got the mackerel in me. Oh, come on. Uh, What's that song? <laughs> <laughs> come on, come on, little buddy. Oh, you swam right past it. Why? Why would you do this to me? Yes, oh, he's got more. the red snapper snapping no! his fingers in victory. Can he catch no. another one here in the next 10 seconds? Okay. We'll see, Pat. All about that bass. Come on, about that come, on. Bass. come on, come on, come on, little come buddy. on, come on, little buddy. Oh, this is gonna be after time. That's gonna be after time, everybody. Pat Looks like by a one. Uh, Pat by one. Uh, so wait, what does this mean? What does this mean? My fishing rod died. <laughs> no. That's right. That's right. Your terrible boy who doesn't play the games has just won a fishing tournament. <laughs> I am ashamed. What up? What up? What up? What up? Yeah, that's right, CJ. Yeah. Tell me more about how awesome I am. GG Gups. GG Gups for our boy Pat. <laughs> yeah, all the Gups. You! Oh, my fishing rod. You got so much action. First things go. first, let's check out what you <laughs> caught in the tourney. All right. While you're while you're doing that, I'm gonna go pick up more fish bait over here. All right. That's twenty points. How many points do you need in your fish pool? Uh, you can get a, a prize for every 10 points. Oh, well, I've got a bunch. Rachel, do you need a new fishing rod? I do. I don't have any. Here. It died. Come here. It's sad. Have, I has present. Yay, uh, thank you. Yay. Oh, thanks. Yay, thank you. You're welcome. Oh, here. Oh, that's right. Here. Here's what else we can do. Ooh, how do I buy crazy. How do I buy the points? How do I How do I do the things? Swap my points for swag, yes. I want to buy a thing. There you go, Rachel. There's there's that as well that we can use. The what? <laughs> On the ground. fish rug. I see I see only ducks. On the ground. On the ground. Right here. Right here. You're thinking about something. I don't know what you're thinking about. You're thinking a, about something. Oh no, are prince. you frozen? Oh no, Rachel, you froze. Oh no, Emily! Oh Emily, no! Oh, Emily, oh, Emily, Rachel! Oh, Rachel! Oh, Rachel! No! Oh, no. oh beans. Uh, oh my gosh, I'm sending my plane back. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get you you're back. Like, we'll get you back on the island. It's all right. Wait, do we remember the the dodo code to get you back? Uh, I wrote it in. Uh, did you write uh, it? I, Pat no. and I are still I here. Didn't. 
I didn't write it down. I didn't write it down, Emily. Does that mean I need to leave the island and then come back? No, you're fine. We just gotta get Rachel I'm fine. back. I gotta get Rachel back. Okay. I just like join a friend. Is that a thing? Can we get some Fs no. in the chat? Okay. Fs in the chat Fs for in the Rachel. Chat for Rachel. Um, but she'll be back. But, she will um, be back. Just some Fs in the she'll chat. She'll be back. It's like I, it's like I died. It's, it's very <laughs> upsetting. <laughs> Rip. Um. Okay. Do, 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 do. Uh, sure is Orville, but first we're gonna be smart about this and uh, stand by. Yeah. Okay, we can still talk. We just have our little error we'll screen talk. up for right now. So nice, you got it. <laughs> Nicely <laughs> done, Emily. Way to go. <laughs> Way to go. We Very see good. everybody in chat thinking that they were gonna get our dream code and come on over. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Hide the code. That's right, Fiore. Hide nice. The code. <laughs> Keep it secret. Keep it safe. Oh, man. Uh, all right. Uh, Rachel, I will slack it to you here in just... Thanks. Uno momento. All right. Uh, we are putting numbers in. <laughs> so the code is one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> No, that's the password. <laughs> it's, it's Mambo number five is the <laughs> password. Okay. Oh, XX, who cares? XXX42069, the h most hilarious numbers on the internet. Um, thank you for being here live with us. Thanks for joining in. I'm sorry that the Twitch notification didn't get you. I haven't gotten a Twitch notification in months. That's weird. What? Uh, there hmm. is a, the, there's a thing. That if you are on Twitch, you can press the thing, and then it'll it'll like resubscribe you to get notifications from that channel. Um, yes, 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 yes. Hmm. That's I know that was very specific. There, there's a thing. There's a thing you can on do. The thing. There's a thing. What? On the uh, thing. Hey, Tino's is here. Yeah. Um, thanks for being there. Hey, uh, can somebody put go. in the chat the dream code? Somebody over on Twitter is asking for it. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Um, and I'll put it in both of the places that we have. Let's do it. Um, yeah, if you want to visit. Address code. And that's all Emily, everybody. So give those oh, kudos. Um, I don't have our dream address updated for wintertime. I'll do that after this stream. I'll find a, I'll find a good day. And we'll we'll do we'll we'll update it. Right now it is still in in the fall time. Oh, Deb, Deb, beep, oh I put in the wrong thing. <laughs> I thought I copied. <laughs> Apparently I did. Deb, Deb did it. Deb did it better. All right, I'm just gonna delete. Just just delete what I put over there in YouTube chat. <laughs> oh, the, the right... Ambari soundscape. I put, no, I, already, they I put that, to that. No, I put that there already. I meant to copy over our uh, <laughs> dream address code. <laughs> I apparently still had uh, the wrong thing selected. Oops. Uh, again. Pat, where's the dream address for Plenary Row? Things. Buried deep below the island, never to be revealed. <laughs> 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 I was just running around the island making some fish bait before the fishing tournament just now, and there's pants and DIY recipes strewn about. It's, it's everyone. <laughs> it's, it's, not, it's not good, everybody. <laughs> We're not doing that. Uh, hey, what the lumps? Uh, Thanks for tuning in. Have a great rest of your day. Okay. Uh, oh, hey, you sent us a DM. Let me go. Let me go look at that. Huh. I'm grab one. Try to drop that too. And then... Okay, Rachel, come over here. Okay. And I have the fishing rod and oh, look, a surprise. And then just, just where Pat? Where did you go? I'm by the airport still. By the, Sorry, I'm over. Hat. I'm over in our Twitter DMs in right at the moment. Ooh. I'm here. Hi. Hello. What's here. Up? What, 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 what are we doing? What are we here. doing? Here, huh? Rachel, get on, get on, get get there on the other side of Patrick real quick. <laughs> yep. Yep. Hmm? Yep. Yep. Okay. What are okay. We, what I got it. And then and then just a, a little uh, three, two, one, and press A. Yay! You won the fishing tourney. You won! Yay! Yay! <laughs> Good job. 
<laughs> okay, now go find a spot along the coast. <laughs> Just silence. Silence. Sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, just, um, I, I really wish that I could be having more fun right now, but we have, <laughs> we have, we have someone over on the YouTube, uh, oh, YouTube chat who yeah. is just kind of making life miserable for us and the moderators. So, um, just if anyone is tuning in uh, and still watching, and you're thinking of making another YouTube account, we've told you numerous times in the last few weeks certain things not to do on the stream. Otherwise, there'll be consequences. Those consequences have occurred. Please leave everybody else alone. Please don't make another YouTube account. Yeah, just please. We just want to have some fun streaming and we don't want to have to deal with whatever that is. So thank you thank to you. our mods for dealing with it. Thank you everybody over there on YouTube for putting up with it. We're trying to get this person off. Um, but yeah, anyway, <laughs> I'm sure you guys did something fun, but yeah, I'm not having fun at the moment. Hold on. No. <laughs> Uh, please, please talk about something. I'm sending the email. Yes. 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 Why can't you catch snowflakes in a net and then they wiggle around like they're an insect? It's it's very troubling to me. <laughs> like sentient snowflakes. Okay, so right now I'm I'm looking for two snowballs that should be somewhere on the island. Okay. And those are gonna help us make snowball? our snow boy. Alright. Snowballs, where are you? Snowballs. What? Creepy sentient snowflake. Wait, can you, with you. can you not make a snowboy when there are people on your island? <gasps> they do. They disappear when you have friends over. Uh, what? We can't oh, this is terrible news. Oh. Okay, bye. <laughs> oh, <see it. laughs> that's okay. That's all right. Um, that's okay. Yes, this is fine. What else can we do? <laughs> Um, you can give me a tour. I haven't seen your winter wonderland. That's it's true. Gorgeous. Here, we'll do a quick little tour. Here, where, wait, where did you go? Here, come down. Come no, down this way. Hello. <laughs> hello. All right. We'll Show me here. the we'll, magic. We'll, we'll do a quick little hello, Pat. Hello, Pat. And then we'll keep <laughs> on going. Oh. I like that you threw glitter at him. Very important. Yes. yes. All right. Welcome. Welcome to Monterey Bay Island. Um, <laughs> this is our island. <laughs> Welcome I don't know why. To I just Jurassic got... Park. <laughs> <Welcome>. <laughs> but I'm a kazoo. <laughs> um, uh, wait, Fiori says that we might be able to find our snow boy. We'll, we'll, on our tour of the island, we'll find the snowboy balls. Because we're going to look everywhere. Look, it's a bat. He's back. A I'm back. What are we doing that's He's fun? <laughs> <laughs> we, to... We're going to do, do a little, little wintry wonderland tour um, with Rachel because she hasn't seen the island real quick. And then we'll do some more oh, fishing cool. journey. Sweet. Okay, awesome. cool. Um, so welcome to Monterey Bay Island. If you walk up this way at the very beginning, we have... Death. We have ducks and we have Amola who greet you oh, walking Hello. in. Um, we've got our happy little New Year's balloon arch here. And then if you go to the right, uh, um, you want to go on this way. Then we've entered the Salinas River Valley over here. The Salinas Valley. Uh, and then we've got our, our little orchards over here in the Salinas Valley. And in um, our little farm, which is currently hibernating because it's winter time, no. so no, no, nothing but weeds over here in our little <laughs> farm. Um, I like the well. Yeah, we got a little wishing well over there. We got our little log to sit here and contemplate, you know, life in the ocean and everything. Um, <laughs> and then uh, if you come up here, Pat, do you want to show off your your spot that I made on the island? 
Yeah, check it out. This actually made me cry when Emily first showed it to me. <laughs> she made Ed Ricketts' lab uh, over here. Uh, on the Look at this. Oh my, Look at my this. gosh. Look, it has a How great is this? everything. Right? Oh my god. Oh, Emily, this is See? fantastic. Isn't this great? This is the greatest uh, thing in the world. Uh, yeah. Oh, there's a little flapjack here. Oh. Yeah, Emily did such a good job on Ed this Ricketts' is lab. This is so awesome. There's um, even the hat and the coat rack over here. And... Yeah. yeah. I've got this a little... This is just like awesome. visiting his lab. So that we can yeah. get some water from the ocean to keep mm. all of our collected animals in. I've got I've got a little packing station. <laughs> a little packing station up here. Big old, mm -hmm. big old tub of formaldehyde, I'm calling it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> tub of formaldehyde boxes. or the, the um, tanker oil that they would use yep. to... Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Or actually, Ed um, would use some of these big barrels to um, boil down uh, shark livers into oil. Um, oh, yeah. Too, <laughs> That's in the so background yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, we got a little so microscope cool. station. We got a spot so you can weigh everything and make notes. We got a little, we got a little preserved uh, mackerel way up there on top of the shelf. A little, little details uh, there. I love it. It's got the perfect vibe. It really yeah. does remind me of visiting the lab. Yeah. Awesome job. This is beautiful. Thank Ugh. you. Uh, what else That's we so got? That's so cool. Uh, and then if you come down this way, a yeah, little, little, little bench spot, little park spot up there. Nothing too much. Uh, Another deck. Have, yeah, more ducks. I saw they were casually we're of casually course. walking past the waterfall that's landing on the beach, like Pfeiffer. Oh uh, yes, thank you. Oh. Yeah, so this is this is uh, McQuay Falls. McQuay uh, Falls, yeah. At Pfeiffer Beach. I'm uh, sorry, Julia not Pfeiffer. Pfeiffer, not Pfeiffer State Beach, not but Pfeiffer um, State Julia Beach, Pfeiffer but Burns Julia State Pfeiffer. Park, McQuay Falls. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because uh, we I get confused Pfeiffer all the time. State There's Beach. two of them. And then yeah. Julia Pfeiffer. <laughs> Um, this is our little um, duck that's uh, supposed to be a surf scooter over here on the no. duck. I can see. And then we, wait, got, wait, we got a little... Rachel, Rachel. What? If what? she weighs the same as a duck, <laughs> then she's made of wood. <laughs> and therefore... <laughs> a witch! <laughs> no! How are you so wise in the ways of science? <laughs> My liege! She turned me into a newt! I got better. Well, I got better. <laughs> uh, well, my little, Python break. Little happy little greenhouse up here. Oh, it's so happy. Little happy greenhouse. How lush it is. Yeah. Oh. Um, lots of our, uh, our plants in the aviary. Um, we... we grow and keep and keep them alive and keep them happy so this is our little greenhouse for our Avery here I figure oh, I um, and then we got let's see here um, we of course got Monty Ray's house up here which oh that's right Rachel Rachel um, hold on I'm gonna I'm gonna go inside and then I need you to come in here and then uh, we, we need to get your reaction of, uh, of this room. Go um, for it. Okay. I feel concerned. It's it's for All good right. reasons. Alright. Good reasons. Ah! <laughs> Welcome to my room full of puppies. Oh, it's a puppy room. <laughs> Look at the wiggly bear tree. I want this one. It's so cute. Oh my goodness. Uh, oh. <laughs> this is the cute. Oh my puppy, gosh. Puppy, and there's puppy, a toy puppy. train in the corner. <laughs> hey, here, Rachel. Oh no, I, I walked out. I walked out the door. <laughs> go, go downstairs. Go downstairs. Oh yeah, Emily. Downstairs. Show, downstairs. show Rachel our our guest downstairs. Rachel. No, not okay. that way. Not that way. That's no, the kitchen, that Rachel. Way. That's the kitchen. Uh, uh, oh, I like your kitchen. Oh, thank you, thank you. I like that there's baked goods there, just like real life. Okay. Oh, always. Yeah. It's, right. It's it's not a visit unless there's some sort of baked good there. All right. All right. These Don't way. walk out the door. Don't walk out the door. <laughs> 
So, uh, Rachel, I don't know if you know on the right uh, joystick, if you push forward, you'll zoom in, right? Mm-hmm. So, okay, stand next to the mantis shrimp on Let's the other side. Me. On the other side? On the other side. Where right. Emily is? Yeah. And I will Okay. Okay, and then zoom in with that <laughs> joystick. Okay, now hit A on the tank. <laughs> <Button>. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> wow, this is some strong glass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> and it just it just heals itself too. Yeah, self-healing nice. glass. Very important. Self-healing glass. You you need that. <laughs> oh my gosh. I love this mantis. He's so cute. And violent. <laughs> Yeah, um, Otter502 over there on YouTube wondering uh, if your message is being held for review. Yes, for some reason, the YouTube auto mod blocks the Otter uh, emoji. emoji. Yeah, uh, it's the weirdest so thing. Yeah. We have we have a, a longtime fan of our Sea Otter Cam, uh, <laughs> Miss um, Christine, who watches the Sea Otter Cam all the time and is often commenting with the Otter emoji. And I... I I hope she knows that it's because of the auto mod blocking the otter emoji for some reason. So <laughs> uh, anyway, yeah, that's what's going on with mm -hmm. the otter emote. Mm -hmm. Patrick, Sarah Spork has a good question. Did we, yeah. did we name our mantis shrimp? No, <gasps> we didn't. How we didn't. Rachel. Name? Rachel. Well, here we, I mean, Rachel, now is a perfect opportunity. What should we name the mantis shrimp? Oh my gosh. No, this has to be a group brainstorm. Well, okay, so part of me wants to go Sparky to honor. Sparky. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, I mean, yeah. Yeah. Yep, That's it. To. That's yeah. it. But then, but then somebody has to explain what Sparky the Mantis Shrimp means. Who feels like doing that? Emily, I, go for it. Yeah, I can explain what that means. So, um, so uh, Sparky the Mantis Shrimp you google it um there have been <laughs> articles and things written about about our buddy um was a mantis shrimp that was discovered inside of the aquarium that we did not know was in the aquarium and still <laughs> we started to notice um animals like our our snails and our barnacles um disappearing <laughs> Um, we would find like piles of like broken <laughs> shells, like remnants of these poor snails and the barnacles and stuff. Um, and it turns out that um, uh, Sparky, the mantis shrimp, as as he would come to be named, uh, it came to the aquarium mm -hmm. in a shipment of live rock. So this is rock that's been collected from the ocean. Um, uh, that we bring into the aquarium uh, because it has um, like bacteria and stuff that are good for aquaria uh, on it, and you know, oftentimes it'll have you know like natural things and, and etc. growing on it. But uh, little did we know there was a mantis shrimp hiding inside <laughs> of this live rock uh, that that we had uh, delivered to the aquarium. Um, and and so uh, only when we we noticed the the pile of shells inside of the exhibit <laughs> did we realize mm -hmm. like oh we are not alone here <laughs> there is there is a shrimp there is a mantis shrimp in there um, so that is the story of Sparky the mantis shrimp yeah who, and Spar uh, Sparky yeah. the mantis shrimp was uh, a um, spearer type of yes. uh yeah, yeah, of yeah. mantis shrimp instead of the the puncher type you see here and so uh, there were plenty of stories of people trying to go in to grab it oh, no. barehanded <laughs> and getting their thumbs sliced open by uh, yeah. i put the link in the chat there to the washington post stories back in 2001 okay. uh, I was say, yeah it was quite a while ago it was a while ago yeah. but yes yeah, sparky but... the mantis shrimp it has to be sparky you're right yeah, Emily. it has That's to be perfect. sparky Oh goodness! Two thousand and one was twenty years ago. <laughs> hey, shush, 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 shush. We're old. <laughs> well, see here, children. Two thousand and one. Let us tell you the tale. Two thousand and one was the year after the Y two K. 
<laughs> oh, the good old white who oh, came yeah. up. Oh, <laughs> Which, by the way, shout out to everybody who uh, worked really hard to make sure that Y2K didn't become a big deal. <laughs> Globally. Thanks to everybody who did it. Um, but yeah, I remember that was a year after the millennium. <laughs> the Matrix was two years old. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, goodness. Oh. Yeah, um, let's see. You're welcome. <laughs> I was 12. <laughs> yep. We were all 12, Pat. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. We were, we were all babies. <laughs> we were all 12 year old babies. So, I mean, shout outs to Matapods. Uh, Sparky the Mantis Trip. Blast Sparky from the, from the past. Trip. Literally. Blast from the past, indeed. Bam. Um, Anyway. <laughs> oh, Celestina. <laughs> How wise you are. <laughs> Shoal Sentinel my hair is graying with every word. Yep. 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 Yeah, well, my, I mean, oh, my no, hair my... is graying, but for other reasons. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, oh so no, fishing tournament? Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, God, yeah. I'm so stuck. fishing tournament? Yeah, let's go. Let's, go. let's go outside before we get any older. <laughs> Puppies! I'm stuck. Uh oh, I'm stuck. Rachel. Oh no, you're Rachel. stuck. Is wait, Rachel stuck? stuck again? Oh no. no I'm, wait, do we, wait. We need to go in and push you. I'm just. Emily, I'm not even to touching you? my remote. I'm just stuck in one spot. Oh no, you're my friend. Emily, no. <laughs> oh no. no it looks like oh. She's stuck on. She's stuck on slippery ice. <laughs> oh. Oh no. Oh, no. Wait, did you get out? No, I'm still stuck. Oh no. Okay. We're coming. Okay. We're coming, coming right now. You just just push me. Just okay. Give me a boost. <laughs> Wait, but which way? I don't okay. know. Okay. Okay. Is it we my need, controller? We, Is it me? Here, let need, me try switching my controller. I'm maybe? not allowed to move your stuff. I'm trying to move your duck, but it won't move. Emily, no. <laughs> <laughs> even pull you. How do I? Pull I'm trying you? to move your duck, but it won't let me. <laughs> no. Okay. Okay. Hold on. We're gonna. Uh, I'm trying, Emily. I'm trying. Okay. Let's. Oh yeah, it's my controller, my friends. It's um, your controller. Okay, we're gonna. No, I don't want uh, that. Here, put up. Oh, put up. Okay. The... You gotta okay. be spitting me. Oh no. Okay, we're gonna. We we gotta do. <laughs> put up the. Put what up a the squid. disaster. Put okay. up the squid. We're up the, We're on the squid. I thought. No. Not yet. Okay. Yeah, okay, there there it is. Okay, okay, we're good. All right. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, then people don't have to watch me try and <laughs> fix my controller. Oh, Joy-Con drift. Joy no. No. No, no, no. I'm not even <laughs> using Joy-Cons. It's just a normal pro controller. Apparently, oh, <laughs> there's man. the drift happening with that, too. Um, oh, cooler. <laughs> cooler. I Emily has more than two games. Just those, those are the two games that we've got on the work on the work account at the moment. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah don't worry. Okay. Is it Friday? Feels like it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, okay. if anyone has any okay. questions for us about marine science generally, <laughs> the aquarium or other things, em Emily is otherwise <laughs> undisposed. But Rachel and I are here for you. We're here. We're here. We got you. <laughs> <laughs> F in the chat for Emily's controller, yes. F in the <laughs> chat. All the Fs. Huh. <laughs> well, I, I really want to play Tony Hawk now, Pat. That was just, I do such it, a blast I mean, from the past. That one. So there, there that. is. I mean, there is a San Francisco level in Tony Hawk Four that we could, we could. You know, go and explore um, the um, Pier Thirty Nine Sea Lion area. I think there's a sea lion in that. <laughs> so, that totally counts. Totally right. Counts. That would count. I don't think that there's an aquarium level, but there is a mall level that maybe has an aquarium store in it. Uh, Otter Five Hundred Two. Yes, your puns are good. Uh, any opportunities for you to improve them? Just keep, uh, just keep on punning. Keep on putting. Oh, okay. Uh, Tino's we, here. We're back, What's... baby. We're back. Sorry. Baby. Uh, Emily, what is yes. one ocean critter that you feel like deserves more attention and adoration? Grunt sculpin. 
<laughs> Boom. She had it right there. <laughs> so, oh my God. It's my, we've, I think we discussed this maybe last stream that it's it's possibly mm -hmm. my favorite fish in the ocean. It's so cute. Um, it's that so absolutely cute deserves more attention and love from everybody. Uh, but it is a fish, and vertebrates do get a lot of attention in the ocean. So um, I feel like we should also uh, maybe throw some invertebrates in there. As Centric the diatom. <laughs> Yes. Centric oh. diatoms need more love. Um, uh, yeah, dinoflagellates need more love too. Oh, yes, yes, Bioluminescent yes. dinoflagellates specifically. Yes. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yes, yes, yes. Well, then if we're going to go there, then cyanobacteria need some more. Prochlorococcus, Pro where are you at? Prochlorococcus, most abundant living <laughs> organism on Earth. Okay. Yeah, shout out. Yes. Um, there's a question in the chat. What is the uh, lifespan of a mantis shrimp? And I don't know. I thought it was about 10, 10 years max. That feels, that okay. feels right. Probably, yeah. de probably depends on the species precisely, but mm -hmm. uh, it's a yeah. good question. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so those animals certainly need some more, uh, some more love out there. I think that maybe an animal that deserves more love that we'll hopefully be giving more love to is a uh, siphonophores like Nanomia. Um, mm -hmm. Because they're one of the most abundant predatory animals on the planet, and we don't really talk about them in our everyday life, you know? Yeah, yeah. that's true. That Ooh, a giant, la giant larvations in snot palaces. Oh, yep, snot palaces, for sure. For the win. True. Yes. That's oh. true. Oh, this is another good question. If we could take a superpower from an ocean animal, what would we take? Oh, I can only think of terrible ones, like ones I wouldn't want. <laughs> <laughs> like, like with a giant Pacific, like with, with octopus, how they can taste and smell everything they touch. That's a horrible superpower for a human. But then like, you also you have like very good superpowers. Like I would love some chromatophores. Like, Ooh, that's can you fancy. imagine? That would be wonderful. Yeah. Um, yeah. Or just bioluminescence. You know, the power goes out and you're like, Bow. it's true. Just go. <laughs> a, lot, a lot of folks saying uh, gills, just being able to breathe underwater. I think that would be Pat, uh, Pat's choice there. Yeah. 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 That's a good one. It's awesome. Sorry, uh, answering some more DMs. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, yeah, we're, we're here to cover that. Sounds uh, great. Hey, uh, fishing. Should we do some more fishing tourney? We should do some more fishing tourney. Go, <laughs> go find yourself a spot. All right, let's do it. And let me know when you're ready. Uh, not ready. Not ready. But that's okay. Not ready, not I'm ready, not ready, not ready, not ready. Think, uh, some nook miles I'm here. still thinking of the superpowers. Mm, Man, ooh. Being, able, being able to photosynthesize, so you're like never Oof. found any. Oh, that'd okay. be really cool. That'd and really apparently cool. you don't need sun to photosynthesize is what the latest SciShow video was telling really? me in its, uh, in its thumbnail. But I didn't watch the video yet, so I don't know oh, what that's about. I gotta go watch that. Yep. That but uh, really shout out to our SciShow friends. Yes. Um, let's see here. Oh, why are all the fish running away from me? It's, if you're running past them, then they'll run away. You have to walk. I'll make a fish. Oh, Des Desiree Zuck is mentioning that there's a, a glass tank in the shape of a dinosaur that holds dinoflagellates out there, apparently. That's awesome. <laughs> oh, no, I don't have bait. I only have four baits. I'll go get more baits. I've... We've got time. I'm selling my fish from the last tournament. Did everybody sell their fish? I sold my fish I from the first mine. tournament. Okay. Not the second tournament. Oh, if you haven't sold them from the second tournament, you have to sell them from the second tournament before I can start the next tournament. Oh. I did. Okay, well, I have to come back and do that. Also, I don't remember where to go to get the bait. <laughs> Um, if you go here, where are you? There you are. I'm here. here follow me. Silly. Come down, down here. Come with me, and you'll yeah. see. Oh. A world of pure fish domination. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's right. There was definitely an explosion in that. <laughs> Come on down. 
to CJ's Fish Tournament where we've got the fish, we've got the fish, and more fish. We've got the fish, we've got the fish. <laughs> I won the poll. That's right, Patrick, 47%. Oh, oh. No. You're going down, oh, Pat. No. You're going down. I can't wait. Oh, li NBA live react to SciShow videos. <laughs> that would be fun. That's oh my God, some content. Yes, that would be that fun. would be some good content. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, now I'm the super villain. <laughs> Let's get this fishing tournament started. <laughs> okay. I'll never tell okay, my okay. secret. You sold. I'm sold. Okay. Fine spot. Running. Oh wait, walking carefully by the water. Oh, big fish, yeah. You ready? Yeah, ready. Let us know when it's time to go. Pat is spontaneously and... funny. <laughs> I try a lot, and then at some point it works. Come on, come on, fish. Come on. Oh. Come on. Ooh, and that's right. Pat is caught an angler fish. Normally, we'd spend a couple of minutes talking about how cool those are, and uh, we don't got time right now. But <laughs> feminist icon angler fish, currently, they're yes. in the pocket. <laughs> feminist icon angler fish. <laughs> <laughs> oh. uh, I want a shirt that says that. Just an anglerfish with feminist icon below it. Oh, I, I just, yeah. But yeah, looks like Pat put himself in his place. He's got himself a dab. I got a dab too. Dab it up. All right. I keep scaring all of my fish. They hate me. They hate me. Ooh. Pat's got a third with two minutes left. Another dab. Emily's got a third too. She's she's hot on his tail. Got a tea butterfly. <laughs> come on, fish. Come on, fish. Oh boy. Bit on the first bite. Oh, and, and another angler fish. Can't four. tell if you, she's got any parasitic males hanging out on there because it's time to go back to the fishing tournament. Oh no. <laughs> It's a big oh, no. Oh, I messed up. Oh, come on, come on. I thought that this was going to be the one. Oh. oh scared. How do, why did it scare? Why, why did, did it go you, away? Wait, why, why, did, why did it this? scare? What is this? Why was it scared? Why did it, why did it swim all away? All of them. All of them swam away. Yeah. Yeah. That's my luck down here. Oh, I think he's got a sea bass. That's right. Five fish. No, it's an olive flounder. I'll leave you alone and back to the fish. That was a pretty good pun. I liked it. <laughs> Bass. Come on. Let's catch up. Let's go. Let's first, go. Let's first go. Bite. Let's go. I am speed. Come on. I am concentration. <laughs> I've got on, a first. mackerel. That's six. Let's see. We've got 40 seconds left on the clock. Can we do more than seven? Wow. Currently the top number. Dabbing it up. Dab, dab. Let's go. Let's go. Oh! Ooh. Trigger happy oh, Pat snap, has snap, just snap. made a deadly mistake. <gasps> snap, snap, snap. I'm not seven. Will I be able to get eight? Oh, I think we're going to end up tied. <gasps> Pat's got seven. I He's got, got eight. a last I got macro. eight. I got oh, eight. Oh, no. Oh, no. What a blunder. Perfect. What a blunder. With one second Ooh. left to go. She With comes. one second left on the clock from deep. Curry. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Nicely done, yeah. Emily. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. CJ, you've got a lot to say. Yay. <laughs> I'm applauding Sell you. Sell yeah. Good 
ten thousand and fifty bells. We did it. We did it. Nice job, everybody. That was excellent. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> thank you, everybody in the chat, for believing in me. You were wrong to do so, but I appreciate the intent. <laughs> <laughs> the underdog here coming in. Coming in hot Love it. at the very end. Love it. Pull through. He does have a lot to say. <laughs> Emily won with eight. Yes, yes. I won with eight. Pat I was trigger seven. happy on the last one. I could have could have maybe pulled out an equal eight, but didn't. Oh my gosh, so many photographs. <laughs> it's it's funny, a little uh, selfie up in there. Whoa, <laughs> prediction results is nah. <laughs> <laughs> Nah. Nah. <laughs> Will anyone, Will anyone catch, catch 10, fish? ten fish? 1K no. go to Sakura. <laughs> no. Ooh. Oh, we don't think they can get 10? Should we try to Should we try to do another one where we try to get 10? Oh, my gosh. Oh, okay, we can do, yeah. One I, more? Yeah, I just I got some more fish bait. I got to sell my fish. Wait, I've got, I've got fish bait. Oh, I, fish I just bait. grabbed some. Okay, but if you need fish bait, I've got fish bait. I'm very proud of you for having fish bait, Pat. I really am. Uh, well, it's from the last time you made fish bait. <laughs> <laughs> I take everything back. <laughs> you, yeah, you should have. You should have asked a few, a few follow-up questions before you gave me a compliment. <laughs> Here's all the school. Yeah, that's right. Sold. Give me my money back. Woohoo! Prediction started. Win oh channel God. points if you make the correct prediction. Oh, it's fancy. Will anyone catch 10 fish? <laughs> I got 10 often. You need one person to bait and one to fish. Mm. Mm, debatable. <laughs> that was a good pun. It's okay, you guys don't have to say anything. Trying to spot the fish. Let me know when you're ready. Ah! All right. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Find a fish, find a fish, find a fish, find a fish, find a fish. Find there are no fish. There's no fish. Um, uh, well, you can always spawn a fish with your fish bait, wherever you want to go. There it is. Okay, I made a fish. Okay. Pat, have okay, you made a fish? No, I have not made a fish. Okay. Um, uh, so what Very makes me inefficient. Go <laughs> <laughs> I've made a fish. I've made okay. a fish. Okay. And he's got one right off the bat. Pat surges into the lead. He's got a dab. Let's go. I want to see some GG Gups in the chat, everybody. I want to see some GG. Oh, one biter. We're on two, everybody. And Emily forgot to take her fishing pole out at the very beginning, and so she has uh, fumbled. She has fumbled, and, and she's oh, falling no. behind. She's I have never behind. caught an angler fish. That was so beautiful. <gasps> Yay. Feminist icon anglerfish currently caught by Rachel, but Pat's got three with a mackerel. Let's go. All right, trying to catch up with the second dab. It's Emily Good. trying to make a comeback here. Uh, definitely not on track to catch 10, but Pat doing pretty good so far. 
Ad is trying to not freak out at the pressure of trying to deliver to chat the victory that they want in the predictions, but it's okay. He's got another dab. We've got four with just about two minutes left on the clock. Nice. One biter's here. That's good. That's good. We're up to oh, eight. no, no fish spawned. There is no fish spawn. It just give spawned. It, it oh, that's going to cause some problems for Patty. Lost about 10 seconds on the menu screens. Uh, but thankfully, the fish bit in one go. We're up to five, everybody. We're up oh, to five. And that's an olive flounder right Five there. at a minute and a half. That is keeping you on track to catch 10, Pat. We are currently on track, everybody. If Pat doesn't mess up, which is very likely, uh, <laughs> we will be able to see a 10 bomb go. We'll see here. Double oh digits. Gosh. Are they possible? We're up to that's six, possible. everybody. We got an angler fish. We talk about the Eska and the Ilium, but no time. It is back to the fishing tournament. Uh, come on, come on. Rachel, what's her status update over there? I'm up to four. I'm catching something. Yes. I have a lot of fish that are just biting, Ooh, nipping, nice, but not nice. taking bait. <gasps> Emily has caught an oarfish. Oh my god! Caught gosh. an oarfish. No, 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 no time. No time. Beautiful. No time, no time, time to talk play. about how amazing no those animals are. No time. No time. Uh, no, no time at all. Zero time with 30 seconds left. We're gonna try and catch at least left. one more fish, maybe two. This one bit maybe pretty two. quickly. We got a mackerel. Yes, mackerel. We've got eight fish. Seven. We've got eight fish over here. I'm wondering if Pat can maybe get lucky in the next 20 seconds. Oh, oh I think he's gonna wind up at nine if we we had a late Come spawn. On. We had a late spawn. Late Come spawn on. there. All right. I've got eight now as well, with 10 seconds oh, left. I don't think nine, I'm gonna I've be able to. Come on, let's go, come on, let's go, let's go. Let's go. No, there's no way with one second left. No way that I'm gonna be able to catch oh, that. Oh, it even bit at that one. Oh, that's gonna right catch the time. tenth to one, just for good oh. measure. We were about oh, five, five, and that is the end of the left. line for my trusty, oh, colorful fishing rod as well. That rubber ducky bringing oh, so no, much good luck. Oh no, rubber ducky fishing round. rod has also died. Rubber ducky, you were the oh, one. You were the one, rubber ducky. <laughs> You made fishing so much fun. <laughs> uh, yes, Deb, I will go to my in-game chat here in just a moment. I believe that it was uh, nine for Pat, eight for me, and Rachel, you had five, six? One of those two. <laughs> okay. I had nine. Uh, Bast Insider, don't worry, Pat. We have no expectations for you. Appreciate you keeping the bar down on the ground where I can step over it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Works out for me. Uh, um, just just getting some big money there with that uh, oarfish cell. Big Let's money? See. Oh, right. 16k All bells. Right. Uh, in-game chat. We're going to our in-game chat. We're going to the in-game chat log. Yeah, Rachel had six. Yeah. Uh, so Rick Etz coming in. That is Patrick. Rick Etz coming in at nine. Rachel, a.k.a. Rachel, uh, coming in at six. And M, a.k.a. Monty Ray, coming in at eight that round. Look at that. Look at these good numbers. I, if uh, the fish didn't spawn in time, you know, like I, I would have had yeah. ten if, if the fish spawned in time. I had one that was just a nibbler. Just one stop nibbling. Wouldn't take the bait. Nibbler. This is an episode of Futurama, but <laughs> seven point eight K go to Chris for what? What's going on in chat? Nice. <laughs> Chris <laughs> plays and eight others. Nah. <laughs> yes. Oh, uh, they bet against us, I feel like that was the right call. <laughs> wise, wise indeed. Caught nine fish, 21 points. All right, sell the fish, sell them. I got three angler fish, so I wonder what that gives That's me. That's really impressive. Because... Dude, they're so beautiful. Whoa, 12,000 bells? Oh yeah, let's sell that. Uh-oh, oh, uh, okay, there we go. Well, that was pretty sweet. Hey, uh, <laughs> Emily. Yes. You sold your oarfish, but we could, we could go walk through the aquarium and take a look at where some of the animals wound up because I know Rachel hasn't seen where all yeah. of the cool 
critters like the sea butterflies and stuff show up so we can go take a look at those yes. too. Yes. And we had lots of questions about why anglerfish are feminist icons. And so well, we can talk a little bit yes. about that. <laughs> Um, uh, I have not turned in the points for prizes yet. I know, Pat, you got a uh, a rug, correct? Uh, well, hold on. I got more than just a rug. <laughs> Where is it in my stuff? <gasps> I don't see it in my stuff. Maybe then it's save uh, when there was oh, the disconnect. Well, yeah, it might not have saved. <laughs> it's okay. We'll just buy it again. <laughs> Cedar fluorocarbons. Uh, please uh, show your work. <laughs> I'd like to know more. <laughs> All right. Oh, uh, real biggie cheese. Gotta go. See you later. Thanks for being there in the chat there. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, oarfish are awesome. We talked about them on the last stream because uh, I got to see a ribbon fish diving here, which is a uh, close cousin to the oarfish. Um, and oarfish are slightly different. Uh, the reg regalacidae, the regalacidae. Um, and we talked a little bit about them on the last gaming stream, if you want to go take a look at that. Sweet. We're going we're gonna to be here for a second while I, uh, while I get some swag. It's all good. You do you. <laughs> Well, do you want to talk about uh, any feminist of icon? Yeah, the femis <laughs> fem feminist icon while I... Uh... Anglerfish? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, because we, we've talked about this numerous times on stream, but uh, anglerfishes, um, historically, different types of anglerfish have different types of reproduction, we, we've learned. But um, uh, historically, large anglerfish that were found, everybody was very concerned as to where the males were because nobody had ever found a male <laughs> in, a, in a plankton trawl. Um, and what was originally thought of as being a separate species turned out to be the males of many an anglerfish species uh, that were not dwarf anglerfish. They were actually the males because the males are largely a gigantic nostril swimming around trying to find a female to reproduce. And apparently, uh, we, we learned this on the last stream, immature males, if they latch on to a female for reproduction, might end up becoming fused to the body of the female anglerfish effectively becoming um, little uh, outboard <laughs> testicles, as it were, uh, for the for the female anglerfish. And so just talking about feminist icon anglerfish, where, sh um, you know, she is the large and in charge um, female anglerfish doing her own thing with, uh, with the rest of the males just being, um, uh, for some species, uh, and the immature males at that, but... Um, glorified testicles uh, attaching themselves to uh, the career of that wonderful female anglerfish. That was the joke that we made mm -hmm. several streams ago, <laughs> paraphrasing. Um, so anyway. Going on a date as an anglerfish and you're the, the, the male and you're like, oh, it's so beautiful. Let me give you a kiss. And then your jaws are Or, <laughs> but I guess, I guess worse would be if she's like, latch on to me. Just like, oh, the kind of thing and we go kind of slow and then you're mine now <laughs> like, <that's laughs> equally. i love that <laughs> lean nose there's glorified there's good no... ads good alliteration there. Yep. Yep. <laughs> there's only one thing that <laughs> there's only one thing that i require in this world uh, uh, what's that <laughs> access to your lifeblood no <laughs> 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 um, <laughs> I like that, you Emily. Like, your avatar looks concerned to me, Emily, and you're just twirling your umbrella behind. <laughs> do, do, do not participating in this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's, it's too good. It's too good. All right, let me just get some. Let me get some cool fish stuff. Okay, Rachel, would you like some? Cool I've got fish seventy-eight stuff? points. Yeah. I'm just supposed to talk to him, say, give me some stuff for points. Yeah. I got a fish rug. I got yeah. a fish rug. I got my rug back. I got my umbrella. I got a I bunch of you. umbrellas so in case one of you does not get an umbrella. I got I umbrellas love. galore. I, I would love to be. I like all the merch that he has. I got a fish pochette. Oh, you can match. 
Ooh, in the chat, Lovely T wants to know what's your favorite sea slug. She loves them all. Lima Sia Cockerelli, the cockerels Dorid. That's one of my favorites oh, uh, here uh, that we have locally in the Monterey Bay. They're gorgeous. I love them. Okay. That's mine. I like the opalescent nudibranch. It's so pretty. It's shiny. Yeah. Neon blue cool. stripes and then the orange on the back. It's pretty beautiful. What about you, Emily? What's your favorite sea slug? Um, oh, see, I'm trying to decide if it's one of our local ones or the ones that I got to see when I used to work down in the Gulf of California because they have some beautiful oh, well. ones there too. Um, and they're like my first nudibranchs, you know? Mm hmm. First nudibranchs. Oh, well. That's tough. Matching. Matching. Um. Do you want my points for swag? Uh. See, now you're making me think about my first new to break. <laughs> See? Yeah, I love um, hey. Philippinia. Philippinia Taylorii. They're just. They're beautiful. And I used to sing to them because I worked at a marine lab and I had to monitor them at night. So I'd be delirious <laughs> in, the, in the middle of the night checking on them and them. And I'd be like, Philly, please, yeah. Philly, please, yeah. Philly, Philly, please, yeah. Philly, Philly, please, yeah. It's, it was weird. <laughs> and did, did you ever do reenactments of like courtroom scenes? Like, if it Philo please yes the court, I have an objection. <laughs> Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, Spanish dancers are uh, very common. We have a similar one in the Monterey Bay. Yeah. Then notice Iris, the barber slug that also swims uh, in a dancing fashion, similarly. Um, I mean, obviously, Melibi, are, I, if I had to pick like a a, uh, a nudibranch that is not local to this area, I got to see the type of Melibi in Indonesia that crawls along the bottom and then extends its hood out on the bottom and snaps up shrimp on the sand, as opposed to the Melibi that we have around here that's on the kelp. So that's definitely one of one of my favorite nudibranch encounters is this like mm. six to seven inch long nudibranch with its huge hood that it's using to scrape up uh, teeny tiny little shrimps on the on the muck. That was one of my favorites over in uh, in Lembe in northern Sulawesi in Indonesia. Um, have you ever seen because I know so this is one that I used to see pretty you know, regularly when I was down in Mexico. And I know that, like, northernish range for them is about Monterey Bay. Uh-huh. Um, but have you seen California blue dorids out here? I have not seen a California okay. blue dorid, no, but that's Hypsilodorus. Is uh, that... Maybe I'm thinking think... of a different one, because I'm thinking of uh, Philomare californiensis. Oh, Philomare They're, like this beautiful like royal blue to like midnight blue with bright yellow spots on them uh-huh like, yeah, 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 yeah 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 i saw uh, oh no it's not yeah so wait which one am i because there's another one out here that looks really really similar to it yeah that would be um uh oh my goodness here i'm i'm, I'm looking You're thinking it up of right now hypsilodorus californiensis that is what I was thinking of, but that is not what you're. Is that the about same anymore. one though? Did it just change name? It may have changed genuses. It may have Let changed genuses. So I don't know which one is the most current. One. So I've seen. Uh, I guess um, I could look that okay, up. so yeah, <laughs> Felomare californiensis is the California blue dorid with the spots. No, I've not seen that one here. Um, I but they are in the Channel Islands. I've just never seen one myself. Okay. In the Channel Islands, I've seen Porter's chromodorid, which is Felomare porterae. And then uh, the one that I've definitely seen in Monterey is McFarland's Chromodorid, which is Philomeda McFarlandi. Mm -hmm. um, but it used to have a different different name. Um, but no, uh, California Blue Dorid, Felomare. That's awesome. Yeah, uh, for is. the folks out there who are wondering what I'm looking at, this is an incredible guide. Um, I'm putting it in both chats. Um, if you want to, this is from iNaturalist, our friends at the California Academy of Sciences run this um and here is a link to all of those different nudibranchs you can find here locally uh, so the ones that i like are limacia cockerelli that's pats 
Um, yours, uh, Rachel, was Hermesenda Opalescence. Rachel's. And then we have Felimare Californiensis. its name oh no oh no pat help me out with it it's what is it it's the one that's one? white and black and yellow and uh-huh it has stripies on it uh-huh <laughs> <laughs> <And> <laughs> my mind <laughs> is not working is it an aelid or a dorid i want to say it's a have- dorid Okay, wait. So describe it again. Black and white. Black, white, yellow. And Black, it has, like, white, s- yellow. Stripies on it. You've taken pictures of it before. Oh, Polycera atra. Yes. The sorcerer's. The sorcerer's. The sorcerer's. Door. Yes, I like it because yeah. it's sorcerer's it's a door. sorcerer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Polycera atra. Yeah. Yes. Polycera atra. Yeah. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Those are Thank beautiful. Thank you, friend. And that's how you play p- name that new to branch. <laughs> Fiore. <laughs> or editor <laughs> Def in the chat. Holly Sarah Atrix. Oh yeah, no, we're all we're talking about sending new to branks for sure. Yes. Um hey, let's go look at the uh as our final thing here, Rachel, let's go look at the um at the museum. Cause um there's a lot of cool new critters in there. It is way. I went the wrong way. There you go. Just, just go up. No, you're, you're right, Pat. There we go. <laughs> All right. Have, you have to go through the Molo Mello Cafe first. I'm waiting Exit for you to, to, the gift to shop. start. With the umbrellas, you two need to start singing. <laughs> singing in the rain. <laughs> okay, now let me in. To the right. Off we go. I'll wait for Rachel. <laughs> Rachel, are you in the museum yet? I'm coming in. Ha ha! Here we are. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Uh, where did the sea butterfly go, Emily? Where did, where does that one live? Is that oh, in that the deep one? Sea? No, that one lives over here. Show me. Go up. This way. This way. Where was it? It's over this way. I was being free. Oh, look at that abalone on the windows. Oh, yeah. Let's let's take a look at six pack. Uh, no, that's yours. Mine is. Oh, that's mine. That... Or Mamma Mia? Is my Mamma Mia or dancing? Yours queen? is Mamma Mia. That's Mine's right. Mama for Mia. the abalone. Yeah. Mine is six pack. The abalone. <laughs> <laughs> I like the delayed oh, chuckle there. Oh, <laughs> there was. Dear. Oh dear. Is it over here? It's in the little tube. Look at them. Oh, it's a little they're so cool! Them. Look at them! Look at the sea butterflies! Look at them dancing. Oh, they're beautiful. They are the dancing Is that queens. a stalactite? <laughs> what is that supposed to I be? I don't quite understand what it's, it's supposed oh, maybe, to oh, be. Oh, no, this is this is around, um, this is an Arctic one because, um, yeah, the, the species that they, the species that they have in this game is the same one that Alexander Semenov and oh, all of those uh, Russian um, folk mm-hmm. are seeing over there in the northern Arctic sense. area. So this is around uh, an iceberg. <gasps> That's so cool. That is really Yay. cool. Wait, oh, yes. There's a flapjack octopus in the middle of this one just dancing around. In <laughs> they the they tr- made some interesting choices with the locations the of some of the animals. Oh, but that, in this that's game. probably because of Finding Nemo that they put it in there, right? Yeah. 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 Oh, you yeah. made me ink. You made me sense. ink. And I'm like, why are you there? <laughs> why are you there? Yeah. Oh, my God. The little guard nails are yeah. so cute. Oh. oh, Cleone Cyclone. That's right, uh, Fiore. Look. They all duck 
and our little oh yeah and we have to say goodbye to the garden eels at the aquarium uh because viva baja (laughs) the exhibit is moving along we're building into the deep at the moment so viva baja um that exhibit is making its way over to um or our panels a lot of those uh uh, panels are going to be making their way over to ensenada um to the science museum over there and um, then a lot of our animals that were in that exhibit are moving along to other zoos and aquariums. Uh, but uh, yeah, so we won't have the garden eels when we reopen. Bye, so they're bye. fun to see uh-huh. in this game. They are fun to see. Yep. It's also a main lobster over here inside of the trapple. Well, mm-hmm. I, I mean, I would say it, it, like it's it's maybe not our primary lobster, but a main <laughs> lobster. <laughs> it's a little fun. <laughs> Yeah, it's fun. We've got well, we've got both types of main lobsters. We've got our our um, true lobster, quote unquote, here, like the California red lobster with the long uh, antennae over here, and then we've got the main lobster over here. So you can see both types of lobsters right next to each other. That's pretty fun. You can see the difference: the massive kilopeds on the front, the huge claws on the main lobster, whereas our local lobster does not have those. And in fact, people have been seeing. Uh, red lobsters in our area um, at the breakwater, those recruited back in 2015 during the El Nino year. And so there are some adult red lobster out there, as well as there have been some escapee lobsters from different places that are now living around. But yeah, look at that. Oh, yeah. we've got the mantis shrimp right there. I look, was about we got... to say, mantis shrimp is just being peaceful and sitting in one place <laughs> and not murdering. Mm-hmm. <laughs> No Uncommon. <laughs> well, that's because the slate pencil urchins in the back ready to take notes in case it acts up. That's why. He's <laughs> uh, uh, <it's> watching. <laughs> yeah. The um. So, uh, Jewel Vast over on uh, YouTube. The uh. Yeah. The rainbow shrimp there in the front. That is the peacock mantis shrimp. It's a type of stomatopod. So it's not closely related to other types of shrimps. Um, but uh, absolutely gorgeous. And the, the reason that they think they're so beautiful is that they have so many different color receptors in their eyes that they might use the colors and flashes on their body as secret communication with other mantis shrimps. So pretty fun. Oh, and <laughs> I love this. There's our little flatworm swimming around. Whee! Yeah. <laughs> Just undulating. That's awesome. He's having a good time. Uh, we did have oh, a yeah, Z Frank did an awesome true facts on the mantis shrimp a while ago. Yeah, and actually, Z Frank did some awesome videos for us ar- about cuttlefish as well. Uh, shout out Z Frank. That's true. Uh, we did have a question for what are our favorite worms? Any favorite Ooh. worms out there, fam? Oh, there's so many cool worms. Um, so I'm going to have to go with my favorite. <laughs> My favorite worm at the moment is um, a type of worm, Basiodiscus, which is a local Nemerdian, a ribbon worm. And the reason that I think it's super cool is that I was diving and I saw this ribbon worm eating gobies. It lives in the muck and comes up from below and nabs the goby and it's and i was watching it it's the goby's thrashing around it couldn't get away and then slowly gets swallowed and the goby is still alive as it makes its way down into the gut of the worm and i posted that on iNaturalist and uh a uh, little plug for myself it ended up being iNaturalist observation of the day but uh put it up on iNaturalist and a bunch of um a bunch of ribbon worm biologists came out of the woodwork and they're just like whoa that's intense we've never seen one of those eat before and then somebody who studies this particular genus was like ah this would explain why their paralyzing toxins are in their stomach and not in their proboscis. <laughs> so these things grab gobies and swallow them whole and then paralyze them Ew. as they're digested. <laughs> this should have been this should have been a sock talk, but <laughs> but yeah, so uh, that's my favorite worm is nice. uh, Bastiodiscus uh, ribbon worms. <laughs> Rachel, any favorite worms? Uh, when you say favorite worm, the first one that comes to mind is Eureka Scalpo. So the, the, that innkeeper worm. Oh, I just It one. has a very that's special a place in my heart. You know, I love the little U-shaped burrows that make under the sand. They have a really unappealing appearance, kind of like a raw hot dog, which is 
unsettling, but they're so cute. You know, I really do wa- like watching them in the aquarium. You can watch them undulate and cast their mucus nets up. And then they're just pumping water through that so that they, they can get all sorts of fun little plankton in there. And then they suck in that mucus net like a bunch of spaghetti peppered with all sorts of goodies that they, they trapped in their net. So I, I really love them. <laughs> the Don't. Pepper. And don't forget the golden butt spines because Eurekas <laughs> means spiny butt. Yeah. This is true. Yeah. This is true. Makes it even more lovable. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Love it. Nice. Um, and for those of you in chat wondering if you saw uh, reports about penis fish washing up on beaches uh, in the Bay Area a few years ago, that's what was washing up is fat innkeeper worms, Eurekas calpo. They're pretty adorable. <laughs> Oh, garden, garden eels are not worms. No, they are a fish, but um, they look they look a lot like worms. What about you, Emily? Favorite worm? Whoa, hold on. Uh, Zed, Zed Shirogan. Wait, what does that say? Shirogan says, asking shall receive. I made it. The anglerfish shirt is complete, Emily. <sighs> Apparently, the anglerfish feminist icon shirt has been made. <laughs> Uh, Zed, uh, whisper that to us. Yeah. Whisper. whisper that to us so we can see it. I want to see. I want to see it. Oh my goodness gracious! Um, I think we can try to put it up on chat. Meanwhile, while we wait, uh, Emily, what's your favorite worm? Big. I'm a big fan fan of flatworms. They're pretty great. Um, I feel like we have the really beautiful, like the Yuri leptas here in Monterey, which are super and pretty. The- and the hypodermic insemination is just, you know. <laughs> you mean, I mean, we can talk about <laughs> penis fencing. I, we might need to go to the sock. Do we need to go to the sock <laughs> to talk about penis fencing? I think we should. Mm-hmm. All right. I think we already talked about penis fencing on the Have sock. Have we talked about penis fencing? I don't, I don't know. know. We're, are Never. we going to our... Let's go, uh, Let's go to the sock. Are the sock on, on the other side? Oh, the sock that we have over here. Or do we want to on the over here? What did we call this one? It wasn't quite the sock. No, it was something else. I apologize for the weird slurping sounds in the background. That's that's Trooper getting a little little drink. No. <laughs> Out of her bowl right now. Oh, Trooper was thirsty. Trooper was thirsty. We can... Uh... Well, I just run into... This is what happens when I try and... <laughs> oh, this one's nice because it has a spot for all of us. Poop. Oh, I can. Just, I'm just hiding behind a tree. <laughs> um, okay. Well, so we just mentioned uh, ribbon worms coming out of the muck and devouring bay gobies to digest them with paralyzing toxins in their stomach. So, voila! Welcome to the sock, the seat, the seat. of cursed knowledge. Uh, <laughs> uh, Rachel. I believe you had a story about hypodermic insemination. <laughs> oh, oh my. It's it's a pretty magical thing. I remember my marine ecology professor saying, all right, I'm going to teach you all about penis fencing with flatworms. And we just like paused and were horrified. He said, first off, what you need to know, never Google that term. Never Google penis fencing. Like, okay, moving on. <laughs> Next, next, uh, so the flatworms, the way they decide who is going to bear the young is they fight uh, with their male organs because they're, they're hermaphrodites, they have both. So whoever loses this fencing battle gets to carry the young. So they actually will try to stab each other anywhere on their bodies. Once they stab, then they get to inject their genetic material. The loser then uh, bears the young. Hooray! Oh Hooray! My <laughs> Hypodermic insemination. <laughs> like That's a needle. Up. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, so... Okay, so we definitely... We definitely can't... Uh, yeah, we can't feature the, uh, we can't feature the link, uh, because it leads to, to your red bubble, uh, there on, on the, on this stream. Um, but, uh, I found, 
I found the feminist icon design. Isn't it beautiful? It's it incredible. Uh, oh. uh, I'll send it. I'll send it over. Yeah, we're not allowed to link to uh, outside vendor things on on this stream, but um, I'm gonna send it over Slack to Emily and Rachel, and then you can tell me uh, what you think. It's pretty sweet. Okay. I'm really excited about this. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Oh, I love that. That's so god. good. Oh. So we cannot tell you to do this, but if you do go find Zed's red bubble, <laughs> it's pretty sweet. It's amazing. It's so great. How did you oh do that god. so quickly good too? How did, Just yeah, how did you do that so fast? Ten out of ten. Oh my mm -hmm. god. Really impressive. Oh, her little escut. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. So good. It's, it's so good. Yeah. Um yeah, we uh yeah, so just as a reminder for for everybody, when we're streaming Animal Crossing games, Nintendo games generally we're not able to have links to anything outside. Um yeah. uh, uh or that, that could be a shop or or donations or anything like that. But I do appreciate you sending the art along. That is hilarious. It's amazing. It's so <laughs> yes. Uh, hey, thanks for watching, Storm Sarah. Appreciate it. Uh, are you excited for sock content? Look at that. Nice. Always, always. 12% Twelve, of people, not so much, but 88% nice. no, no. here for it. <laughs> okay, hypodermic penis fencing <laughs> in flatworms completed. Nicely complete. done, Rachel. Complete complete nice. emily do you have uh anything sock worthy you'd like to share uh, and it is 5 11 p.m it so is. we're looking at wrapping up uh pretty Very soon here i believe for the folks but i thought of something earlier too and now i forget what it was we were talking about something and i was just like oh that would make for a good sock story here you go to the front of the bench there emily uh, but no because now i'm gonna it's not gonna it's not gonna come to me i'm just gonna sit here like a fool like a fool like a fool. Like a fool. Oh, okay. I remember what we were talking about. Uh, <laughs> um, it, it's not so much marine related, um, but it is uh, related to the topic that we were talking about before when we were talking about Melobies um, and how they secrete something that smells like watermelon Jolly Ranchers to us. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Um, and how a lot of animals secrete interesting chemicals from their bodies in various ways. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh. Uh, um, and, and we're listening. <laughs> some of you, um, some of you may be familiar, um, that I'm, I'm a, my favorite animal. So like I have my favorite fish. I have a lot of favorite, you know, categories of animals, but my favorite animal in the in entire world, um, that I have loved since I was, but a wee small human being, um, but a wee Emily, but a wee Emily, <laughs> a wee Emily, just a wee, a wee little limb. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, I love beavers. Uh, I love them. I love North American beavers so much. I had a stuffed animal. I shouldn't say I have a stuffed animal of one that I've had since I was uh, but a wee, wee, wee child. Um, they are the wee, most everybody. amazing animals on the face of the planet. And there is very little that you can do to convince me otherwise. Um, they <laughs> are. <laughs> Don't try. They are absolutely incredible. Um, and the reason why I bring beavers up is because I've seen this popping up. <laughs> across the internet uh, recently a lot of people have been discovering um, another scent <laughs> that is secreted by an animal um, <laughs> that oh dear. in this case is used in a uh, in a way that probably many of you are not aware of but that you have directly benefited from and I am specifically talking about castorium. Um, so <laughs> castorium is a natural flavoring. 
uh-huh. um, that is used to give a lot of dairy products and desserts, like like you think like ice cream, their uh-huh. vanilla flavor. Uh-huh. Um, it has this very kind of uh, rich like vanilla y musky like almost like berry and vanilla flavoring to it and it is a natural flavoring so a lot of people are like all about that Mm -hmm. castorium comes from beavers and specifically (laughs) it comes from Mm -hmm. the anal glands of beavers (laughs) oh my god Mm, vanilla musk <laughs> from the butt of a beaver. So the next time you're enjoying your wonderful ice cream cone and, mm-hmm. and you, well, know, like, you just have to set to a that, scoop of vanilla to, ice cream and you're looking at the package and it says all natural flavoring, um, there's about a 99% chance <laughs> that it is it is wait, beaver butt wait, <laughs> flavoring. How do they picture. wait? How do they harvest this? Well, you just you, you, you squeeze those anal glands, the <laughs> beaver. You squeeze them. You squeeze them. So I mean, they, they use the that. They, like it's a very so, like musky, you know, like secretion that that to us, you know, tastes like vanilla and and berries and goodness. But like beavers, they like rub their butts on stuff to like mark their territory and like leave trails and and etc. Um, but yeah, uh, there's a pretty good chance that it's uh, from the anal gland of a beaver. Your your natural vanilla flavoring. Um, that's why it's always good, like when like you are like at a store and you get a bottle of vanilla. It, it, like if it's artificial vanilla, it's a very good chance um, that it's been manufactured in a lab somewhere. But if it just says like natural vanilla flavoring, um, that doesn't necessarily mean that it is a hundred percent vanilla. It could be vanilla mixed with this. Um, it could be <laughs> with castorium. No, I mean they, um, it should have <laughs> at least been chocolate or something. <laughs> Based off of where it's coming from. So yeah, um, I just want to say it's it's beaver butt goo that's used for related, vanilla flavoring. Natural related flavoring. to this this beaver fact. All I have to say is, damn. <laughs> much, Wouldn't you know? But pretty uh, much, I would like to lodge a complaint <laughs> about this beaver. I don't mean to be a stick in, in the my mud business. here, but. <laughs> I mean, that's just so similar to how it's uh, how Amber Gris, um, the the oh, yeah. uh, the whale vomit or is it poop? I forget. Uh, vomit. Uh, vomit. Vomit the of the part, waxy yeah. substance covering up the squid beaks that giant sperm whales are eating. Uh, that that is used in high quality um, perfumes. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> That's great. A <laughs> oh, <my laughs> lot, lot of people going to their oh, cabinets man. right now. <laughs> oh, I really, I, I want to go and look at my pantry. And Can you imagine food. you're at you're at a work party with your beaver buds, and then the branch manager comes over <laughs> and is just like, "I made ice cream." <laughs> no, I thought we could branch out and uh, try yeah. some ice cream today. Where did the flavoring anyway. come from? Oh, we should leave that one alone. Da, da. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Another successful uh, sock. Another, successful, Another sock. successful sock. The seat of accursed knowledge. Um. All right. Well, maybe one last question we can leave this on. I've got a question over here from Jewel over on YouTube. We can wrap it up uh, with all of us. But um, uh, I'm really interested in becoming a geologist, applying for colleges soon, wondering how going into the field of science was for you. Uh, uh, Emily or Rachel, do you want to go first? I can talk about what going into the sciences was like for me, but uh, we can wrap it up after maybe that question. Yeah, we can take turns. Uh, yeah, I can, so I'll, I'll go here and I'll actually answer that other highlighted question there in the chat over on Twitch. Do you all work at NBA? How long have you been there? Yes, we all work for the aquarium. I've been there, uh, 10 years in April, Emily, seven, I'll be there eight, eight years in April, eight in April and Rachel eight in April as well. Eight in June. Eight in June. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So eight this year. Yeah. So we're all in the social media, um, 
team, part of the marketing department at the aquarium. Uh, and so I got into the sciences when I was five. I saw the sea otters at the aquarium. I wanted to be a marine biologist and work there. Oh, I ran away from your camera, Emily. I didn't realize you were <laughs> zooming in on the camera. I thought um, you were going to sit down on the bench, and then you moved over there, and then you moved back over by the bench. Oh, here, I'll sit so. on the bench. I'll sit on the bench. Okay. Um, got my feet up on it and everything. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, so the journey into the sciences for me, you know, just in uh, in high school, um, really focusing on taking all the science classes that I could. I was over in Sweden for high school, so I did the International Baccalaureate and so did um, a pretty heavy sciences thing with physics and chemistry and biology uh, on my on my IB stuff and then uh, came over to UC Santa Cruz. They were uh, Thankfully, they let me in. Uh, I didn't know what the SATs were until about two weeks until about two weeks before I had to take them. So I did terrible on my SATs. But uh, UC Santa Cruz um, brought me in. I did a degree in marine biology over there. Discovered the scientific diving program while I was over there, and that's kind of what led me into uh, underwater media production and other things like that, editing photos and videos, which then led into just kind of knowing my way around computers and other things, and video editing, photo editing. And so then I was in the aquarium doing the behind the scenes tours, feeding shows and programs as an ambassador and then as a programs presenter in the guest experience department at the aquarium for about five years. And then an opening opened up on the social media team and uh, they brought me up over there, uh, up the street to the other offices to uh, do social media. That's where I've been ever since. So um, yeah, the sciences were always something I want to get become a part of. But what I realized in college is that the the scientist that you learn about or the marine scientist that you learn about, the one that's in the lab doing the doing the science, publishing the papers, all that stuff. That's only one aspect of marine biology. There's actually a hundred different careers or more in what we call marine biology. You can be an oceanographer. You can be a science communicator, underwater technician, uh, boat operator. I mean, it's it's limitless. It's endless. All the different careers you can do when you're attached to the ocean. So my encouragement to everybody out there is always... Uh, aim for the ocean and you'll land amongst the sea stars. Uh, you don't have to be a published scientist, a tenured professor, anything like that to be a scientist uh, and to help the ocean. So whatever the skills are that you have, the ocean uh, needs them. So do what you want to do, what you think is interesting. Follow your gut and what people tell you you're doing good at and keep following along. And then maybe you'll wind up playing Animal Crossing during a pandemic <laughs> with your friends, <laughs> which is a lot of fun. It is. That's me. I'm going to go next because I feel like I kind of already talked about my story and getting into the sciences. But uh, so uh, I didn't know that science was for me uh, as a child growing up in the, the 90s. I thought like it was only for like Bill Nye the science guy. It's a lot of men in science and definitely not a lot of people of color either. So I really didn't see myself represented or reflected in any of that. But when I got to high school and started taking biology classes, I loved it. And especially I had this fantastic AP biology teacher. Shout out to Mr. Foley. Just absolutely wonderful. So supportive, so encouraging. I just, I wanted to do so well because he was just such an amazing teacher and really opened my eyes up to the subject. And after that, I was like, okay, I want to be a scientist. So I... You know, worked hard, took a lot of math and science classes, got into UC Davis, and <laughs> I was at first a biochemistry major. Biochem is horrible. <laughs> or at least it was for me. I struggled a lot uh, with my OCHEM classes, and I didn't really know the the wide range of of, of different topics you could you could be in or different fields you could be in in science. Um, and then I, I had a, a wonderful professor who opened my eyes up to ecology and I was like, gosh, I need to do this. So after uh, suffering in OCHEM and job shadowing a doctor, um, a general practitioner and saying that wasn't the path that I wanted to be on, I decided to pursue ecology and switch my major to evolution, ecology and biodiversity and visited the aquarium on a field trip, on an invertebrate zoology uh, field trip, where my wonderful professor, Eric Stanford, uh, took us out tie pulling afterwards, and we watched a ribbon worm eating a polychaete, and I remember a fluffy dog goes by, and all the students start cooing over it, and he's like, eh, vertebrate. 
<laughs> I'm like, yes, these are my people, these nerds. We go tromping through the mud and we find innkeeper worms and just the world became so much more vibrant and magical to me. I'd never been camping before uh, until like probably five years ago. Science has really opened up my world and brought me wonderful friendships and it's it's just changed everything for me. So my entry into science was just out of pure interest and then I just kept pursuing it and pushing uh, until I got here. So my advice with someone entering the sciences is, you know, if you love it, don't stop. Keep keep pursuing it and keep your eyes open because there's probably more there than you ever could imagine. Uh, look for mentors, talk to people, volunteer if you can, and uh, keep exploring. Yeah, that's me. No, that's great. I feel like Rachel should have ended it there. Like now, no, no, this now this kid has to go. Um, oh, I'm in. I'm in Rachel's way. Getting on the <laughs> bench. Sorry. Patrick. Oh, oh no. <laughs> How do you? I, oh, yeah. <laughs> I need to plug in my controller. It's, it's gonna die. Uh, oh no. Um. Hmm. I I feel like it's hard to identify, like how you get into science. Um. Like, I don't know, like, for, for me, it started at a, a very young... Oh, no, I pressed the button. Oh, God, what am I doing? Oh, God, what's going on? Okay, no, everything's fine. Everything's fine. Nobody panic. We're all good. Picture um, frames, filters, hashtag no filter. Ooh, hashtag okay. no filter, oh, hashtag oh, all of the filters. Oh, gosh. Hashtag what's... every filter. Every filter. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, so, like, for me... For me, I I was very fortunate um, to grow up in the family that I did, who really encouraged uh, little shy me who didn't understand humans, but who really loved animals and who really loved tinkering and who really loved to try to like try and figure things out. Um, so when I was again, but a wee, but a wee babe. Um, like I remember like sitting on my dad's lap as he tinkered with and built computers. He was a PC um, repair technician for many, many years. Um, he didn't go to college, but he went to technical school and um, was, uh, you know, in, in the air force and, and an engineer for them um, without a degree. So he had all of this knowledge in his head and, um, you know, would bring me out to his, um, woodworking shop and he would let me tinker around with tools there. My grandfather was an engineer as well who worked for the telephone company for many years and had a basement that he dug out himself illegally <laughs> under his mobile home um, that was just filled with every kind of electronics tool that you could imagine. I just remember like crawling down like these dirt steps with him like at a very young age and just like being able to like sit and watch him and my father work and tinker and do all these things and because they were such they are or my, my grandfather was he passed away a few years ago and my, my father is such you know they were such supportive people that even though I was a girl they were like, well, of course you can be down here. And of course you can be tinkering. And of course I can teach you how to use these tools. And so um, they really helped to nurture that aspect in me. And then my grandmother, who was always a big fan of science and learning and everything um, because she was a woman and denied all of these opportunities, was a very, very big advocate for um both my sister and I. My sister is not a scientist by by any means. Uh, she's a musician and a wonderful musician and teacher now. Um, but with anything that we wanted to pursue, um, our family was there to back us up 100% of the way. Um, so I really feel like they were the ones who got me into science um, because of that. But I guess like my traditional way into science, I mean, you know, you go through all of your you know 
primary school, middle school, high school science classes and stuff and i was i was i i i grew up a big old nerd i've been a big old nerd my entire life um whether it's pop culture or video games or science i've always been a big old nerd um and i did well in school you know you know towards the top of the class and you know all of that jazz and stuff but i don't think that i would really consider that my way into science until i got to college and, um, and once again, like I entered college as a chemistry major, um, and was, and I, I started as a chemistry major because it was something that I knew that I was good at. And I was like, oh, well, chemistry, I'm good at it. And I know there's always a future in it. Um, but I don't know if I would say that I was excited about it until, I joined the chemistry club at the University of Arizona, and uh, one of the very first um, like guest speakers that they had come in was a student who was also a chemistry major um, at the aquarium, but who had spent a summer over at Woods Hole Oceanographic Institute, and uh, she studied chemical oceanography there. And so I was like, wait a second, <laughs> like as this little nerd who grew up in the middle of a desert, um, and who loved going and exploring tide pools and stuff with, with my family when I was younger. We would take road trips out to California um, and see all these amazing things that were out there um, who didn't think that I could have a future studying the ocean. But here I was in Arizona with a student in Arizona going to the same classes and stuff that I was telling me that I could study the ocean and chemistry at the same time. I was just like, well, well I think that I could do that too. Um so I took a marine biology class um, kind of as a direct result to that. And that professor um, who taught that marine biology class, she still teaches at the U of A to this day, uh, Dr. Katrina Mangan. Um, she was the one who nurtured that spark that she saw in me, that love of ecology and trying to figure things out, how everything fit together. It was that same kind of spark that my father and my grandfather you know seeing them tinkering with things and trying to figure how things worked together down in the dugout basement of their house in, in Arizona um there was that same love but with animals in the world around me and trying to figure out how things worked together and it was a marine biology class but it was taught by an ecologist um and so uh, Dr. Mangan ended up being my mentor for many, many years while I was in college. I was a TA for her for a couple of years. I even went back after I graduated and I helped out with the classes, um, taking them down to Mexico and teaching the students about, um, about marine biology with her um, at a research institute down there. Um, it's the, the Center for the Study of Deserts and Oceans, CEDO, um, down in uh, Puerto Penasco. And... Um, yeah, so I, I definitely think that it it's not so much a direct path for any of us. And even if you're in high school right now and maybe you're not doing so well in your classes or maybe you are doing so well in your classes and you just haven't found something that has felt right to you yet, just know that that is a thousand percent okay. That you can go into college with all the confidence in the world of like, yes, this is what I'm going to do and I'm going to major in this because I know that it is going to have, you know, um, you know, careers for me in the future and, and all of that. And, uh, <laughs> you know, you can be in your first week of college and just have your whole world changed. And so um, it's OK to, to roll with that. You know, it's it's okay to to change your mind about things and to try new things. And um, as long as you are doing what feels right for you, there's no wrong way to go through college and to and to get into the sciences. It's very true. So well spoken, Emily and Rachel. Um, yeah, and then just you know the idea that all the jobs that exist uh, in the future of marine science communication, which is the field that we find ourselves in right now, all of those jobs, um, you know, they might be similar to the job that we have right now, but it's going to be completely different. Uh, you know, um, I I can't figure out what the career paths are for everybody on TikTok doing the dances. Um, 
<laughs> but I know, <laughs> I know that that training of planning it out, choreographing, I feel like everybody is becoming a little mini uh, filmmaker and, um, you know, political activist and so many different things in, um, so many different things on their social media feeds. If it's on TikTok, on Instagram, uh, Tumblr, you know, YouTube, Twitch, wherever you happen to be, I feel like those skills that you're developing in high school and, and, and other times when you're, uh, when you don't have, you know, all the time in the world, but you're not like, you're not tied to your job, you're developing a ton of different skills there. Um, and those are the skills that are going to end up being invaluable to attach to your, your scientific informational pursuits. So, you know, you might be uh, studying marine biology, but then your skills might be in, uh, in the data mining and visualization, you might be, you know, doing that. Um, you know, I just, I see some of the things that people are doing in Minecraft, in, in Rust, in all those kind of open world imaginative things and all of that game training, all of that mental yeah. training is going to lead to, to jobs and careers that uh, don't even necessarily exist, but, uh, they all certainly tie back to the ocean. So, um, yeah, that was amazing. Emily and Rachel, uh, and Patrick too. I think, Yay. I think with that, we can pretty much wrap up, right? Yeah. 5 30 5 35 we've given we've given the people a two and a half hour stream look at us go <laughs> you see that don't say we never did nothing for you Ta -da. <laughs> Ta -da. Yay. awesome nice okay well well with, with that, that Thank you so much, everybody, for tuning in to uh, yet another educational gaming stream here at the Monterey Bay Aquarium. This has been some Animal Crossing. We've got some other games in the works that we'll be uh, working out, trying to stream. We'll let everybody know out there. Um, but uh, as always, uh, during this uh, incredibly challenging time uh, for everybody out there, hope you are staying safe. Hope you are taking care of yourself. Um, and as Emily would say, I'll let Emily say it. Be kind to yourself. Be kind to yourself. <laughs> be kind to each other. And yep. we'll see you again soon. Bye. Bye, everybody. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Thanks Bye. for joining us today, Rachel. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye.